Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, you know, like I'm looking at YouTube and, uh, you know, YouTube suggests to me some videos. Uh, uh, you know, there is a guy, I think he is from Macedonia, Albania, not sure. Uh, this guy, he is doing business and he have reaction videos always. And uh, YouTube showing me here, Christian react to the mosquito. <laughs> and this guy, he will never stop being Christian. He have a million video reacting to the Quran. He loved the Quran. But he keep calling him Christian. Because he knew that this is the only way to get a view. If he say he is a Muslim, Muslim don't care. But if he say Christian, he will get the hit. So uh, he have an interview with the, uh, the ketchup boy, uh, Uthman Quran. <laughs> and supposedly he will convert. <laughs> but he did not. <laughs> what a bunch of scammers. Anyway, going back to our topic. <laughs> Reaction to the mosquito. <laughs> My friend, the only mosquito I see is you. Oh, very well. Oh, Lord have mercy. So today our topic is about the Holy Quran. You know, as you know, the Quran is very holy. And uh, we know that those, you know, non-believers, they try always to insult the Holy Quran. But the Holy Quran is protected by Allah and uh, Jibreel and the genie and Allah even have insurance over the Quran and it doesn't matter if there's holes or not I mean there's holes everywhere you know as an example I have a hole in my teeth so what you know uh, so the Holy Quran which is proven scientifically to be uh, from God uh, historically, scientifically, technology. I mean, this is the book of nobody. I mean, nobody can make a book like this. Even the God of Islam, he says, who can make a book like this? <laughs> and I have to agree. <laughs> the most idiot, stupid book ever cannot make such a book. So our challenge today to the Muhammadan, and my Skype is open, who is going to call us and change the title from Holy Quran to Holy Quran. Any Muhammadan? You prove me wrong, I promise you, I will change the title of the video. Like Holy Cheese, there's a lot of holes in it. I mean, do you need to ask what kind of Holy? Holy. So who is the Muhammadan would like to, to call us and show us beside the mosquito, you know, the mosquito is the guy, he have a reaction to the mosquito. I don't know, I should make a reaction to the mosquitoes too. A reaction to the mosquitoes. We have a guy here in the chat, his name is Ali Aziz. This guy, he is, I don't know, why, why you don't call me Ali? Mr. Ali Aziz, why you don't call me, my friend? We just started. Soon we will have 1,000, 1,500, God knows. And imagine how many they will hear you. What do you think? Who is a Muhammadan would like to call us and prove to us? You see, for me, I don't really care about the Quran being changed. I mean, I'd actually, I'm against uh, even speaking of it. Why? Because the Quran as it is today is perfect. It's, it's very lovable. Why do you want to change it, man? <laughs> Please give it to preserved. You know, the Quran is a preserved in which way? 
Who is a Muhammadan can tell us? Uh, the Quran is preserved in which way? What preserved mean? Anyone? Who is a Muhammadan would like to take the challenge? Just text me in Skype, please, and I will uh, call you immediately. Let us go to the Quran and see the preserved Quran. Uh, how does Quran work? I'm not going to talk about the one is not preserved. I like the preserved one. If we go in the Quran here, as an example, in chapter 5, verse number 3, I like this chapter <clears throat> because uh, in this verse here, Allah is telling the Muhammadan what to eat and what not to eat. It's forbidden for you, <laughs> the dead meat. <laughs> you know, the Muslims, they claim that Quran is made by a very amazing Arabic. <laughs> dead meat, you idiot. Well, isn't it the chicken, the one you eat is dead? What do you mean? Do you eat the chicken alive? Do you eat, Muslims, do you eat the chicken alive? When you say it's not allowed for you to eat the dead meat. What kind of Arabic this Arabic is? Isn't it all the meat you eat is dead? Are you zombie? The Muslim, they will say to you, the Quran meant the animal who died by themselves, but this is a different word. Like in Arabic, we say fatisa. Fatisa is an, a creature, you know, even a human being, we can say it to him too, uh, die by himself. Nobody killed him. Fatas. Not uh, dead meat. <laughs> and then the blood. Well, when you eat meat, you will, you, you, you will have a blood in it. There's no way. There's, it, it's impossible to eat meat and you can't take the blood away. <laughs> Aziz Ali yatahaddas ila shaykh ahlan wa sahlan bil shaykh al kareem Aziz, he is calling a shaykh and he will call us. That's wonderful. <clears throat> And then, you know, like, you cannot eat this, you cannot eat that, blah, blah, blah. And then suddenly here, you will see, after he gave them a recipe about what to eat, what not to eat, actually, what not to eat, uh, you will see suddenly the verse says here, this day, I have a chose, uh, uh, today, I have perfected for you, your religion, and completed my favor upon you. So remember, we are talking about the preserved Quran. The preserved. As long as the Quran is preserved, that's mean this verse is not a mistake. Any Muslim will say this is a verse, this is this verse is a mistake. Do we have any Muslim here would like to say if this verse is true, correct, accurate, or stupid, or what? Remember, the one is talking is Allah. There is many mistakes here. Like I see some people giving some ideas, like Andrew, he said, I perfected, so... It was wrong earlier for Jesus and Moses. Uh, Elisa saying, perfect religion 
is religion God? Religion is God? I will go farther from this. You see, this is a chapter 5, verse number 3. If this verse, as we see, as, as clear as it can be, you do not need even to give it interpretation. Today, I have perfected your religion and completed my favor upon you and chosen Islam for you as a religion. So in that day, when this verse came, Islam became complete. <clears throat> when I say the day, this day, I'm talking about timing. About, and when I say I, co I perfected, I completed today, but it's in the past already. Which mean now, just finished, but it's still it's past. But then we will find that there is hundreds of chapters after this verse, not only hundreds of verses in the same chapter. How how Allah He perfected today, He completed today Islam for you and then Allah keep talking and just to show you how stupid the one who made the Quran as long today I perfected your religion for you completed my fear upon you have a chosen for you Islam as religion and remember here in this part he was talking about what to eat right and then suddenly after he perfected but if any of, uh, of any is forced uh, by hunger <laughs> Look, you just said you finished, you idiot. <laughs> Are you with me, people? Allah, he just finished his book. That's it. It's completed. It's perfect. Islam is perfect now. And then Allah, after he finished the sentence, and there's only a dot, by the way, in Arabic, there's no dots. And he continues saying, What the heck is that? I thought you are done. So imagine you go to the movie. And then the movie, like it says, the end. Everybody starts standing up. The light is turning on. And then suddenly, you see the guy in the movie starts saying, but if any of you forced by hunger, like, what the heck, is, is it over or not? And then he continue, and we continue, blah, 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 and then Allah now he is saying to them but and then he gave us a hundred nine chapter after after the but I'm telling you the, the but is scary you know when Allah he say but that's a big but So the Quran is a preserved, preserved with the stupidity. Don't you think this is a miracle? <laughs> is that part two? <laughs> like, <laughs> how to debate this? Are you asking me how to debate it? I don't know. You get me a Muslim to debate it. I don't know. I'm not going to tell people how to debate this. The Muslim can debate. Muslim can debate anything. Muslim they can debate anything, anything, anything. You know, Muslim have answer for anything. 
Like, no, if we have, uh, like, but you have to get someone smart, like, you know, Zachary Knight. Christian Prince, what the heck? I say your name right away, you are on my face. Christian Prince, first of all, the Quran says, today I perfected your rhythm. But Allah, he don't mean it that day. What the heck? What he mean to a different day? Exactly. Oh, so, so Allah is lying to us? Christian Prince, respect yourself. Allah don't lie. What do you mean Allah don't lie? Isn't it the Quran says Allah the deceiver? And he misled people exactly. But when he mislead people, he don't mean to lie to them, but he mean to deceive them. Oh, okay. He don't mean to lie to them. He mean just to deceive them. That is gold. Christian Prince, first of all, Allah will give us a golden bracelet in the heaven. Man, any word I say, you give me a verse about it from the Quran. I just said gold exactly. So I will be wearing golden bracelet in the heaven, and we will be wearing nothing. I don't want to wear a golden breast. Are you like a homo? I mean, why you are wearing the uh, um, uh, jewelries, Zachary Naik? Are you a female? Christian Prince, in the heaven, we will be decorated like a Christmas night. Like what? What the Christmas light have to do with you? I mean, how we can decorate you? Exactly. Allah will give us clothes made of silk, green silk. And we will be tiny, and our clothes will never wrinkle, and we will have a beautiful woman. And what kind of woman you will have? <laughs> Nothing. Hmm. Well, Zachary, you know, I have to agree. You did beat me there. So today I perfected your religion for you. Completed what is making it more. You see that once I was a, a, a Muslim, he called me. I don't want to call them debate. Those Muslims are you don't you can't debate liars. So he said this guy is an idiot. You know, uh, he did not read carefully. So I said to him, it says today I perfected the religion for you. He said yes, but he did not complete it. I said <clears throat> he did not. He said yeah. If Allah want to say that it's complete, he will say completed. I said you idiot, read. I don't know how many of you have the same the debate. He thought it's not there. He thought that the word completed, it's not there. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to complete it, Islam for us? Aryan Khan, you have a challenge to the Christians? Okay, Mr. Aryan Khan, why you don't call me, my friend? Why you don't call me? He have guys, Aryan Khan, he have one challenge. You see, what I like about the Muslims, <clears throat> we just showed them big poo, poo from their book, and now the Muslim, he tried to change the topic. It's a, a challenge to the only Christians. Dude, we have, don't you see what we are doing? It challenge any Christian. Uh, uh, Aryan Khan, my friend. What about the topic we have here? Are you going to answer about what this madness your prophet he came with? Huh? I challenge any Christian. So he thought now we will forget about the stupidity of his verse. And that's it. He challenged any Christian. Call where? Call in the software. <clears throat> hey, by the way, there is a there is a Muhammadan. He said to me in the previous comment. Uh, his name is what? Muhammad Muhammadan Fidanur, something like that. Show me in the Bible about Christmas, Easter, Halloween, Valentine, where Jesus, peace be upon him, celebrated those sinful blasphemies acts. A Muslim is asking us. You guys, you don't hear me? What do you mean there is no sound? Sound is fine and I am singing. Hello? It's me you looking for. You cannot debate the future or before. And you have to run away from me. Hello? Today I perfected your religion, completed my favor upon you, Islam became perfect for you, hello. Who can come with such a verse, 
You have to be a doctor or a nurse. Any Abdul? <clears throat> Hello? What is the Muhammad? Hmm? This is the preserved Quran? <clears throat> you are so sick, properly you will sleep. Drink Amr and the Prophet Muhammad. Okay, uh, let me give you a medicine. There is a, we have a, somebody here. Uh, she is sick. Let us give her advice from Prophet Muhammad. I will tell you the secret, please, but don't share it with anybody. I mean, please, just between us, YouTube, Facebook, you know, Twitter, talk, TikTok. Prophet of Allah, he said, the Nagla seed is remedy for every disease except death. Man. Why people need to go to the hospital? Why? I mean, why, why? Honestly, why? What's wrong with people? What's wrong? So the Nagla seed is the remedy for every disease except death. Is death is disease? Are you sure that said you take Nagla seed, you will be fine except death? Like, brother, if you have somebody, he is dying before he die, almost there. Just put a Nagla seed in his mouth. He will come up like a horse. Actually, me, myself, I did die many times. I have always Nagla seed in my pocket. I told them, like, when you see me, I'm dying. Just, you know, I, have a, I have a paper in my chest. I, I print it in my T-shirt. It says... The Nagla seed in my pocket. Please, before I die, give me one. But once, one person who is an idiot, he did not give me one. He gave me two. And guys, you do not know what happened. Not only I became healthy, but I could not sleep after that for the coming 25 years because it was so healthy. I do not even need to sleep. Like I was dreaming to sleep. Like, oh, please, can I sleep? But that's it, too late. Two Nagla seed. Three Nagla seed, you will become an infant. You will become younger. Don't say that to the ladies. Oops. Oh, man. <laughs> I did not say that. Did I say that? Now they will sue me. They will say, like, uh, they go to Amazon, they start buying a Nagla seed, everybody, and nothing changed, and they will sue Christian Prince because he gave us false information. False medical information. <laughs> what happened to the guy who have a question he want to call us are you okay uh, Mr. Khan Mr. Khan are you there Why, my Skype is still dead shall I give my Skype a Nagla seed hmm Now, you might say that Nagla seed are useful, you know, they're all, I think every seed in the world is useful. All food have a benefit, even water have benefit, you know, not only like it keep you alive as a liquid, but even water have minerals. So, but this guy is just an idiot. A remedy for all diseases. But anyway, we're not go back to the Quran. <coughs> Yeah, the funny Muhammad, he says, if you eat seven ajwa a day, uh, it protects you. From what? From magic. Man, this is the power of food. Even magic cannot touch you. Ajwa. And not only that, not even poison. You know, 
uh, a few years ago I went to Romania and in Romania there's a lot of people they believe in superstition and magic and etc so there's a woman she claim that she can like do magic like there's many young girls they go to those you know if it's a foolish behavior so they go to those women who they are supposed to witches and they will write for you black magic so this guy will feel in love with you so one day I was visiting you know some people and they told me uh, this is the woman we told you about and uh, uh, she, uh, she asked what are we you know she don't speak English so they explained to her that you do make magic to make a, a man or you know love a woman he marry her uh, she, and she said she was excited yeah she said if you have any women you want I can make her love you I said no problem let us start I want you to make me love you <laughs> and I will pay you can you do it they translated to her and they were dying like you know laughing they try and hold to himself is they told her he is saying as long as you can do it can you make him love you she said no no not me you know it's, so don't worry i will not I'll, I'll just make me love you to prove it to him you know i don't want to be like just do it now you are here i'm here do the black magic make me love you you know yeah fraud you know when a, when a human being he have a brain of neglected or a ajwa anyone can fool you let us go back to our topic so where is the muhammadan and by the way i became in love with her her name is khadija so the muslim who asked me about uh, uh, halloween you idiot halloween is not a christian holiday halloween is a pagan practice only stupid people practice it secondly when you say Christmas, where in the Bible says Christmas? In the Bible says that angels, even in the Quran, came to Mary with a glad news. This is the Christmas, even in your stupid Quran. You know, there is even some some naive Christians, they say there's no Christmas in the in the Bible. That's false. The angels, they came and, you know, they, uh, they said shalom to you, Mary, you know, blessed you are between the women. Uh, and, uh, you know, even, even the child, the child in the womb of relative women to Mary, he bowed down to the news in her, in her womb. This is what the Bible says. So, like the 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 the, uh, uh, the baby inside the women is 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 moving for he heard you know this is what the Bible says, but the Quran itself speak about angels came to Mary to announce to her a great news, Christmas time. Do you see it? Did your prophet receive, his mother receive a great news and angels from sky coming down because he is going to be born? Nobody care. The Bible says of a three shepherd who they came and they gave gifts and they look for Jesus for the newborn person yes there is a Christmas in the Bible secondly the Easter obviously you are an idiot the Easter is exist before even the crucifixion of Jesus but those Abdu do not know and you Muslim you try to practice the Easter practicing something called Adha Adha mean the day of sacrifice
somebody is saying to me, CP, you do not know meaning of the chapter. You only disturb yourself. Go sleep. Amudo. I can open the interpretation for you, my friend. Do you, are you willing to call me during the time I am asleep and read the interpretation for me? As long as I do not know the meaning. So either you tell me the meaning or we can read the interpretation for the meaning while I am asleep. By the way, when Allah... He heard that Muhammad received satanic verses. Was he awake or he was asleep? Just a question. Because shaitan, according to the Quran, he throws satanic verses in the mouth of Muhammad. Remember, in the mouth, not somewhere else. I don't want to speak dirty. So, he's throwing the mouth of Muhammad, satanic verses, and Allah, he promised Muhammad to protect him. So, who is the one who is asleep? You have the worst security company ever. You know, this guy, Ali Aziz, he was here jumping like a monkey when I was not live. The second I came, he disappeared from the chat. And he told the people he wanna go and fight a sheikh to call me. Good luck. I am disturbing people. I just farted, my friend, I hope. You don't bother. Let me tell you what happened. According to your prophet, when shaitan he heard salat, he fought. So who is the one is disturbed, my friend? Allah or the shaitan? Just question. I mean, look, your God, he is very well received. The second you say Allah, shaitan fought. So I don't know, like when Allah, he hear that shaitan, he fought when they say his name. Who is the one supposedly is being disturbed? Allah or shaitan or versus the anus of shaitan? And by the way, this is a proven to be scientifically that when Muslim, they say Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, the methanol in the atmosphere increased like five, six times more because all shaitan are farting. Imagine how many Muslims are praying every day. Each time you say Allahu Akbar, shaitan, <laughs> farting. And I'm not going to tell you what NASA discovered. NASA, they made a full study about fartation. Fartation is not the same as fart. Fartation is come like far from far and tation, you know, it's like fart station. So they make it short. They discover that shaitan, he have a fart station to provide all the shaitan in the world of farting. Because you cannot make shaitan fart. Like, do shaitan get cold? I mean, where the fart will come from? So what they do, they go to the fartation station and they fill up so they can be ready five times a day for the farting ceremony. I'm not going to ask you how your prophet he knew all of this. This is amazing. Look, the prophet said, when Satan hear the call of a prayer, he turned back. You know what is making me really upset? He turned his back. I mean, he turned his back at Allah, where the Muslims are located. Can you believe it? Shaitan, he have a back and he have a front. And obviously his anus is in the back. Look, what the heck? And what he do? He starts shooting farting. Who is a Muslim can tell me where Muhammad he learned this from? Somebody saying, Aryan Khan saying, Aryan is upset. Look, Aryan, he just killed me with his comment. Aryan, please don't do that to me. Brother? I cannot handle your words. You just broke my heart and something else. Look what Aryan he said. You sound so illiterate person. You don't even share link if you dare to speak. 
You know, Ariana, I thought your prophet is illiterate. So are you insulting your prophet, you idiot? According to you Muslims, your prophet do not know the difference between the letter A and a stick. According to you Muslims, if we write the word donkey in the name of your prophet, Muhammad will not know which one is his name. And you are calling me illiterate? Isn't it the Quran called the Muslims illiterate? Call me and I will show you. The Quran called the Christians people of the book, not a single one call us illiterate. But the Quran called the Muslims illiterate and call your prophet illiterate. How dare you? You just broke my <clears throat> heart. But anyway, I'm not worried about it because I have Nagla seed and I will eat Ajwa. So you cannot kill me by your poison words and you cannot destroy my spirit because I have both Ajwa seed, Ajwa date and Nagla seed. I just took one extra in case you try to do something. I'm ready more now. Call where? The admins are posting my my uh, my Skype, my friend. Don't you see? Are you blind? Are you blind? The admins, they post many times. They says, call Christian Prince here. <clears throat> I will post it for you. Hold on. You are claiming you are not seeing it. It's okay. It's okay. You are illiterate. All right. Now, here we go. Don't tell me you don't see it. Do you see it? Call me. Hey, Andrew was busy. I think Andrew, he was making shish kebab. He just came back. Call me, my friend. Call me. And I will give you negla seed. So you stay alive. Do we have any Mohammedan here would like to call us? CP stream is the best. Well, now you know now my secret. It's Nigla seed. You know? Anyone enter my chat, I give him Nigla seed. I hepatize them. Like then you open your chat, you know, you, you open your mouth, and I play basketball, by the way, and I throw Nigla seed from far distance. It's in your mouth, and now you are hepatized. Hepatize. Hepatization. Yeah. The haba, the haba thing, you know, whatever it is. Do we have any Mohammedan who would like to call us? <clears throat> hmm? Any Mohammedan? Until now, there is nobody. So we're going back to the topic in the Quran. When the Quran says that today I perfected your religion for you, was Allah serious, Muslims? Was Allah serious or he was just kidding? Hmm. <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? Is Allah serious when he said today, this day, I have perfected the religion for you? Or he was just, you know, he don't mean it. Because, you know, you know, the, the, you know, uh, gods in the old days, you know, those old days gods, they used to say things which is not, you know, they don't mean it. As many things in the Quran, Allah, he don't mean it. As an example, Allah, he says, I created Adam. Obviously, he don't mean it. Because once he say, he created him by saying B, and the other place he says, I created him by my hands. What's my point? What do you mean, what's my point? I was like, Christian Prince, first of all, you get a point there. Allah, he said once that Allah created Adam by then. In other words, in the Quran, he said Allah, he said to him B, and he was. In fact, all of them both are the same. Or Zakanaik, how they can be the same? If one created him by his hand, and one he created him by saying B, and he was. Either this one or that one. Christian Prince, 
You never think to yourself that I created something by my hand, but in fact, you never use it hand. I'll give an example. You use voice command to read, and you use Google. What, what? You use voice command. Voice command? Exactly. So you say you speak to Google, and you give him voice command. But if we ask you, did you open the door? You say, yes, I opened the door by my hand. But in fact, you made a command, and you say, Alexa, open the door. And Alexa opened the door for you. Alexa? Open the door. Oh, okay. You got a point there, Zachar Naik. So are you saying Allah did not use his hands? Exactly. So Allah did lie? Exactly. Are you listening? Exactly. Are you stupid? Exactly. Zachar Naik, is the CD stuck or something? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Any Muhammadan? Exactly. Zakir, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to them. Any Muslim can tell us what's going on? Why it's so hard to call me and give me the answer? Look how Zakura is so cute and his answers is always so smart. He's genius. You are speaking is full of satanic action? Whew, that's deep. You know, Amido, I don't know. When you say, I am speaking full of satanic action, can you call us and explain more? I promise you, I will talk about satanic action only. This is your, this is your words and this is your topic. What do you think, guys? Can Amido Rakibu Rakibu Rakibu, you know what Rakibu mean? They did right. Do you know that your prophet, according to your prophet, a bunch of a black African, they did right your prophet all day long and they were naked? Your name is Rakibu. Is that true? Hmm? I'm just choosing your last name. I don't know. I'm, I'm being, I'm, I'm, I'm innocent and I'm naive. I don't know anything, you know. I can show you the reference that you're a prophet. He was a mule for a bunch of African. And they rode your prophet all day long to the point he could not even walk no more. And he, the, the hadith says he was badly in pain. And they were naked. What is making it complicated? Why they are naked? I mean, I understand they are writing the prophet, peace be upon him, but naked, why? Maybe you can tell us. Are you there, Mr. Amido? I swear who created your parents, CP. Go and start class one. What the heck is that? I'm getting dizzy now. Look what the Muslims, one he said to me, you sound like illiterate, and the other one saying to me, I swear who created your parents. <laughs> what the heck is that? That's deep. You swear, I think you missed it. You want to say, I swear by who created my parents. Now I'm going to give you 10,000 nigla seed if you can tell me who created my parents. Don't tell me Allah. <laughs> Your God Allah do not know how the baby is created, so he can't be the one who created anyone. Hmm? Okay. Any Muhammadan? Be my witness, zero Muslims until now. Zero, zero. Look, he swear by who created your parents. <laughs> That's deep. Let us see, somebody is texting me, I guess. <coughs> Sorry, I guys, I'm coughing. I ate some spicy food.
too much spice. Hello? Maybe it's Fakira. Hello? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Go ahead. I ask you something. Can you ask me something? Can you speak louder, please? Uh, maybe because my microphone, I don't know. Uh, maybe you maybe you should not you uh, don't use the headphone. Uh, how, how about how about now? Now how about now? Okay, I hear you, but it's not really that clear. Go ahead. What do you want to say? Okay, I want to uh, ask you something. Okay. About uh, gospel of John. Are you a, are you a Muslim first? Yes, I am. What is the proof that you are a Muslim? Uh, I don't know. Well, a Muslim. But, but okay, I, how, how a Muslim he proves he's a Muslim? Anyone can call me. Maybe you are a Hindu, and you know, and you don't, you like cows, and you decide to call me to you know fool me because I'm naive, and you tell me you are a Muslim. How? What is the proof that you are not a Hindu? Maybe I can read uh, Surah Al Fatiha. Oh, why you don't read for me as long, you know, why you don't read for me? Do you know why they call this chapter of the cow, the cow chapter, as long you are Hindu? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, can I ask you or no? Huh? You can ask me, but I'm uh, just having a conversation before we start, like just to heat you up. Like, you know, just to sport, like before you go to the match, you jump, you know, up, down, up, down, so you get, you know, stronger. So, uh, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I have a feeling you have an accent from India, and I think you have something for cows. No, I, I'm from Indonesia. You're from Indonesia? Yes. You're, you're Indonesian. Orange, orange. Okay. I speak Indonesian very well. Orange, orange, yeah. my friend. Okay. So go ahead. What what the question you have? As long as you are from Indonesia, I will be very easy on you. Go ahead. I uh, want to ask about Gospel of John 17.3. Is it what? Uh, Gospel of John 17.3. Gospel of John 17.3? Yes. When Jesus say, yeah. and this is eternal life. That people know you, the only true God. Uh, my question is, uh, who is true God in this? Okay, uh, let me ask you. You say John what again? Seventeen three. Can you op three. can you open it and read for me? Yes. Because I want to know uh, why Muslims they did not see verse number one and verse number two, but they no, see no, verse. I, I ask you uh, number three, no number one. Uh, no, no, I'm asking you. Okay, as long as you are asking me about three, did you read the verses before it or not? Yes, but but I mean, hey, I, I mean, I got, brother, 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 my friend, my friend, we are having a conversation. Don't worry, you know your question is preserved. But I'm asking you, did you read the chapter John chapter seventeen? Did you like when you opened the chapter, you found yourself like in a sliding in the ice and you you lay, you you fell down over verse number three, or you saw verse number one and verse number two? And verse number three. What do you think? Okay. Did you see that? Uh, what happened about number one? What happened about number one? Okay. With, because if you go to the verses before it, you will see that Jesus is speaking to the Father. And verse number two, it says that, the, uh, verse number one, it says that the hour is come, glorify the Son. So even God, the Father, He glorified the Son. Do you think God glorified people? But I not uh, ask you uh, number one. Uh, no, I know, I, I know, I know, my friend, I know. What I'm saying, I'm trying to say, show you that you are a Muslim, you copy-paste, but you skip the most important part. Because if you, in order to understand verse number three, shouldn't we read verse number one and verse number two? And then we go to verse number three. So if we go to verse number one, you will see that God the Father glorify God the Son. Second, verse number two, it says, that the Son who given the power over all the flesh, that he should give eternal life to so many as though has given him. Who is the one have the power of the eternal life? Yeah, well, that's my question for you. What my, is my friend, through God? My friend, my friend, your question is about verse number three, correct? No, my question is about what is only one true God in this verse. Uh, on true God, that's mean we, we Christian believe in one God. We don't believe in three gods. Somebody, no. there, there okay. is, there is somebody, is there is somebody Father stupid. Father or, or Jesus? Uh -huh. Only one true God, Father or Jesus? One God is still Jesus, because God. You see, I, I, I will make it simple for you. Your God, Allah, in the Quran. 
No, but in this, yes, so say you, not me. Now you, not now me. What What do you mean, you, not me? Uh, you should say... My friend, they my, friend my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. Okay, know you see, you, not what, what I did read for you, verse number two, what I read, verse number two, Jesus said in verse number three, this is, is uh, the, uh, the eternal life, correct? That they might right. know that thee, the only true God, right? Right. Okay, but who is this, the one is talking? Who is Jesus? Who is the one is talking? Jesus. Who is the one is talking? Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, yeah, but Jesus talking as what? As the Son of God. So you are the true God as the Father, and I am the only true God as a Son. Because this is why I say to you, why you don't want to read verse number one and verse number two, and you skip to verse number three? Because verse number one and verse number two will, will make you look bad, and will make you look hypocrite. Because here we go, the verse in the front of us, it says, so those words uh, uh, spoke, Jesus say, uh, uh, lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father... The hour is come, glorify the Son. So God the Father, you see who is the God, the only true God? Jesus is speaking to the Father saying, you are the only true God. In the same time, isn't it Jesus, he said, me and the Father is one? Okay, that means Father is not only true God. No, Father I'm asking you, only... you see one by one. Did Jesus say me and the Father is one? One what? One what? One, one God. Yes, one what? One God. Jesus never said that he only uh, say one, no one God. So uh, if uh, if I say me, uh, can can you say you and Allah is one? I never said that. Okay, Jesus said it. Jesus did not say but Allah one, because one Allah what? is Satan. One what? My friend, one what? when 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 you Muslim you say Allah is one, I will ask you the same question. Allah is one what? In number, in number. Allah is a number? Yes. Where, by number. One by, so, by, one by number. As long as long Allah is a number, as long He is one, that means there is two. You just but said one, you, are, one. You, you just said you just said He is one. Yes. One what? One number? By number. One by number? number? Okay. As long he is numbered, then we start from zero, and then we start from one, and then we start with two, and then we three. So if Allah is one, there was zero before him. Okay. So Allah. And then you so, say Jesus so when you say and, one, and my other, friend, your Muslims, one, your, one. your Muslims are ignorant. The one, the word one in the Quran it says, "Qul huwa Allahu ahad." Ahad is a word taken from the Bible, which is echad. Echad is not a one person. Echad is a unity. So when we say one, we are not speaking about one person or one number. We are talking about one God. As an example, you have a, a soul and you have a body, a flesh. Is that true? Okay, don't, don't run away uh, from hold my on. prison Let's, let, us see who's, let us see who's running away. No, 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 no. Yes. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. You yourself, you have a soul and you have a body. Are you one or two? One. So how come you are two and one in the same time? You just said you have a soul and you have a body. Is the soul the same as the body? Different. Answer me. Is the soul the same as the body? Not same, not same. Okay, then, then, then this is two. If they are not the same, how you count them one? No, but I don't ask about that. No, it's not about you asking, you see. I mean, because now this is embarrassing. You don't want to talk about it. I did not ask about that. I know what you are asking about, but you are I'm trying to avoid. You. you are trying to oh, avoid that. You, you are God trying to avoid. You are trying first. to avoid. Listen, you are trying to avoid the problem that your God, who himself, he taught you about soul and spirit and etc. He got himself busted because if you as a human is one in the two in the same time, is it impossible for God to be three and one at the same time? Go ahead. Actually, you, you can answer my question or no? I'm answering you. Answer. You are the one who's running away. You see? No. Guys, can you answer my question? Yes or no? I just showed you the same okay. verses you gave you me. Hold on. Uh, my, my friend, my friend. Hold on, hold on. People, people are okay. laughing at you. People are laughing at you. Because the verses you gave me, the verses they are speaking that Jesus is God. Who is the one have the power over all mankind? Is it God or a prophet? 
God, God. That's it. Jesus, he said, here is God. Verse chapter 17, John 17. This is the chapter you choose for me. It says that yeah. Jesus have the power over all the flesh and he is the one who give the eternal life. Okay. Who is the one who will give eternal life? God or a human? Yes, if Jesus is only true. I'm asking you. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm asking you. Don't, don't skip. Who is the one who can give eternal life? Is that God or Muhammad? God. Okay. I, I was but but Jesus, God. he just said, I am the one who gave eternal lives. How come you don't want to see that? How come you don't but, you want to... That's why he, he said to know you. Not, not to, to know, know you. Me. Yeah, by knowing Jesus, we know God. Because nobody saw God. Did you? Did you see Allah? Did you did you did you Muslim see Allah? Did you did you Muslim see Allah? Did you Muslim see Allah? Again, you run away from my. You are the one that's running. So Jesus, He announced here in front of your eyes that He is the one who can resurrect people from death. Let me ask you again: Is it true that the Quran says that Jesus resurrected people from death? That means Father is not true God. You see, you are true. <laughs> Father no. is not true God. Why? You say true God. Why? Why? Is, true God why? No? Why he is not true God? Because you say true God is Jesus. What? Because you say true God is Jesus. Three God. True God is Jesus. Three God. You say that. Three God. True God. True God. True God. Only one true God. The, the true God is Jesus. True God is the Father. True God is the Holy Spirit. That means. So okay, listen, really listen, not, listen. Not what, what the Christian believe? Let me ask you. It sounds like you're interested like your prophet. What the Christian believe? Do you know? Tell me, just tell me. No, you I tell me what the Christian believe. Do you know even what the Christian believe? I don't know. You, okay, you we as a I'm Christian believe in God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And the chapter in front of you, did Jesus announce that he is the Son of the Father? Okay. Okay, that hold, on, that hold on, hold on, hold on. So when Jesus is speak to his Father, He's speaking to the Father. He is not saying, I am not. He just said, I am the Son of the Father. And not only that, He just said, I am the one who have the power over the flesh. And not only that, He is the one who will give the eternal life for all mankind. So, who I, I ask you, who is the one who have the power of the flesh? You said God. Who is the one who give eternal life? You said God. And then you are asking me, how Jesus can be God? But the same verse which you are trying to use to say Jesus is not God, is the same one saying that Jesus Christ is the one who sent by the Father as his Son. So we as a Christian believe that God the Father, who sent God the Son, and the Holy Spirit is with us. And now you are saying to me, where it says that? Okay. Okay. That means Jesus, Jesus is God, and Father is also God, right? Jesus is, the, as a person, you know, we as a Christian, we believe that God is one, a God, in three person. You Muslims, because you are confused, I just ask you, are you having a spirit and a flesh? Are they the same? You said no. So now you are trying to match that with yourself. You find how hypocrite you are. Because you as a human, you have a soul and you have a flesh, yet you accept yourself to be one. So when Jesus says, the one who saw me, he saw the Father, can you explain to me why he said that? Reason, I mean, if Jesus is God and Father is also God. So I'm asking God you, when Jesus said, one. okay, my friend, so if Father is God, Jesus is God, and the Holy Spirit is God. What is the problem? Yes. Do we have a three God now? How much you have God? We have one God. How can? How can? You yourself, you just approve it. You have a soul, you have a flesh, yet two of them and you claim to be one. Aren't you the one who said to me that the flesh is not the same as the spirit, the soul? Did you say that? And I said to you, are you two? I said to you, are you two now or one? You said one. So you see how hypocrite you are? So you are asking God how he can be three and one at the same time because you are following Allah. Allah cannot be. My God, okay. he can, for he is almighty. Really? As an example, as an example, can your God have a son? God don't know how son. No, no, I'm asking God you, can he, can he, I'm not asking for you. What? For what? I'm for asking what? you, listen, my friend, listen carefully, listen carefully, listen carefully. I'm asking you, can he have a son or he cannot? 
He don't want. He don't want. He not want. No, no. This is not a question. I'm asking you: Can he have a son, or he cannot if have he, a son? If he, if he want, he can, he can. But he didn't want that. But the Quran says no, he cannot. Why you run away again? Here we go. Isn't it the Quran says, how can Allah have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? Well, you, you change topic, brother. I'm not changing topic. I'm just showing you how stupid you are because you don't even understand your religion. You think that Allah, he don't want to have a son, but if you like to, he, he can have a son. But the Quran says, I ask you, can let's, Allah, let's, listen, listen, I ask you, I ask you, because we are talking about, topic. we are talking about Jesus being the son of God. Are we saying that or not? So Jesus is being the son of God. I'm asking you, can Allah have a son? You said to me, he can. Is that correct? If, but, he, if he want. If, if he, he want, want. Okay, if he want. Read for me then. Why you are lying to me? Why you are lying about your religion? Chapter 6, verse 101 says, how can he have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? Allah himself questioned the ability. It's not me. I am saying, how can he? Allah himself saying, how can he have a children when he has no wife? You said to me, if he want, he can. But Allah, he says, no, he cannot. Are you saying there's a contradiction? That is only translation. I don't care about translation. Translation is for you. Uh, for me, I speak Arabic. You can read it in Arabic. Go ahead. Okay, but don't change topic. I'm not changing topic. I'm just asking you, is it, does it the Quran says Allah cannot have, listen, I just approve. I just approve. You see, your point, your point, my friend, my friend, you are a poor person. Your point is that how God can be, how God can be three and one in the same time. My God, he can. Your God cannot. Your God cannot even have a son. As you see, he need a girlfriend. And when I show you the verse, you say this is a translation. That is a stupid answer of you. Aren't you an Indonesian who read translation too? Okay. Can but, you read for but, me? But, Can you tell me in the Indonesian version what the translation say okay, about the chapter? Listen. listen, you are trying to escape the humiliation of your God. So no, my, no. we prove, we prove that my God can have a son, and okay. we prove because, that you are lying. And we God prove. Hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. I will give you a minute. And, and, right? My friend, like, well, there's one. I just answer you. My God, He can be one. And my, when Jesus says. You are the only true God who should worship because yes. how they worship, how they worship God in the same chapter. They worship God the Father by worshiping the Son. It's in the front of you. Okay, but, but listen. Listen, listen. listen. Can you read for but me? This, listen, just to show this, you, just uh, to show you, just to show you how hypocrite you are. I no, challenge no, you. you. Listen, say, listen, no, listen, no, listen. No, how the, no, how no, the people, no, no, they will no, no, worship, no, how the people will worship and glorify the Father. In verse number 13. No, but it's just gospel of John 17. I'm asking okay, you. So I'm asking you. Don't change topic. This is your question. This is your question. This is your question. Don't change topic. How the people will glorify the Father? How? Did you? Just why I ask you. Did you ask chapter 17 or not? Yes, just tell me. You are a liar. You, are, you did not read it. Okay. If you are a person who did read chapter 17, tell me according to chapter 17, how the people they glorify the Father? How? Tell me, just tell me. Aren't you the one who knows the Bible now? Suddenly you do not know? I don't know. If you read, <laughs> if you if you read, my friend, if you read with me, it says that if those people they keep my words, they keep my teaching. This is how they glorify the Father. If they, I, he said here, not only that, glorify though me with their okay. own self. God the Father glorify Jesus with his own self. Verse number yeah. five. Can you see it or you cannot? You say my teaching. That means Jesus I, is I'm teacher. asking you, do you see verse number five? Yes or no? Does it say that God the Father glorify the Son with himself, with the glory which I had? Before the word was, does it say that? Okay. And what, what do you mean about this? Hold on. What do you mean? Okay. Do God glorify a human or God he glorify someone is equal and he is the son? Okay. And does it say, and does it say, and does it say that 
that Jesus was exist before the world is exist? I don't know. Just tell don't me. Don't tell me I don't know. You have a diarrhea. It's called I don't know. I'm asking you. The same chapter you chose for me. Did Jesus claim and he said that, that the Father glorify me with himself equally and then for which the glory my you know the glory which i have before okay. the world was when let me uh, hold on how jesus how jesus is glorified by the father and how he is exist before the world is exist go ahead you are the genius man my trouble is trouble is jesus say yes yes you say that they know you not that they know us they know you and they knew me I am your son. <laughs> now me. My friend. Okay. You are the person who used the word us, right? You said did not use the word us, correct? Yes. Okay. Allah, he keep using the word us. How many he is? Well, you run away again. Here we go again, again. You talk like uh, those, you know, San Francisco boy, my friend. Again. Uh, you are the one who said I us. Guess. So Jesus, he made it so clear. You are the father. I am the son. Why he need to say us for you? Should we add words to the Bible to make it uh, like look nice for you? And now I'm asking you, if Allah is one, why he keep using us? Because you okay, are the one. Means, you uh, are the one who so like us. You are the one. Oh, you are the one who is saying that the word "us" is the only one to prove to you that God is not one as a person. Correct? Yes, and then. So if I show you from the Bible, God, our God, saying "us," that will prove to you that is enough. Okay, listen. And hey, listen. Uh, I... Hey, listen. Don't try. I'm asking you. So my God in the Bible says us, and obviously he is not one person. He is one God. Your God, he used us for what reason? Why you not, not let me finish Why my question? Why not let me finish? You are the one trying to run away. Aren't you the one who said the word us? Why do you want to answer? Why Allah, he used the word uh, us? Don't compare with Islam. Yeah, when you compare with Islam, are you saying that Islam is a religion of mushrikeen? No, because and now, I so you are not. So now you just said, now you just agreed that your God Allah don't teach monotheism because He say us. I mean, mm. if Jesus, Jesus, uh, I mean, I, I, I like this. I mean, he, uh, stop eating hummus, my friend. Why Allah He used the word us? You are trying to escape the embarrassing question. What's your question? Why Allah he say us? Okay, because in Quran, sometimes uh, Allah say me or us, that doesn't matter. Uh -huh. So in the case of Jesus, it matter. In the case of Allah, it doesn't matter. You are a hypocrite man. I'm asking you still why Allah he say us if he is only one in person. Of this, what he say uh, my what us mean? You are the one who said to me, you are the one who said to me, why Jesus did not use the word us, correct? I said to you, I can show you verses from the Bible making it clear, God, he says us. So I'm asking you now, my God, when he say us, it makes sense because there's God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Allah, when he say us, why he said, you okay. said to me, okay, Allah sometime uh, in the me, Quran, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, a boy, little boy, listen, okay, I will speak like you, okay, some time Allah he say I, sometime Allah he say us, this is not the question, I'm asking you why he say us. Okay, I, now you saw me when, when you say God is three See, persons. here we go. So you are not going to answer. And, and you are not going theory. to answer why Allah is using the word us. Why are you afraid of my question? Why are you are afraid of my question? I answered you. I showed you the and verses. You I showed you the verses. I answered you that Jesus is the son and now you are in trouble. Your God, it turned to be that your God Allah, he claimed to be us, but he is not us. So why you don't want to answer me and tell me why Allah, he, just say it, just tell us, my friend. What the problem? What is your difficult for you? You are an expert. So why you cannot say us, what us meant when Allah, he say us? Do he mean he is one by saying us or he mean that he is many? 
Yes, be, uh, before you say, God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I'm Spirit. asking you, uh, before you go back to Jesus, don't be a coward, be a man for a second. When Allah, he say us, or he say we, why he say us and we if he is one? Okay. So, so, first in Quran, when, uh, when say us, when Allah say us. All, all over the Quran, as an example, chapter 2, verse number 99. Okay, just, just show me, just show me. Okay, I'm showing you. I just told you. Don't you know your book? Okay. Hmm. Now, okay, listen. Now you read a tafsir. I don't care about tafsir. You agree that Allah, he say us. You tell me the tafsir. Go ahead. Why Allah, he used the... Guys, here we go. He gave me the answer. Read tafsir. My, I mean, you, you are a hero. My, my friend, you are the hero. You, you see, you see, hold on, hold on. When you ask me about Jesus, I showed you the verses. I showed you that God the Father glorified the Son. Jesus said, before the world I am exist. Jesus said that glorify me with you, with yourself. Jesus said to, the, to you, I have the power over the flesh. I am the judge of all mankind. I am the one who give eternal life. And still the stupid you asking me where Jesus says he is God. I ask you, who is the one who give eternal life? You said to me, God. But just, just see that he just said, I am the one who give eternal life. I said to you, who is the one have the power over the flesh? You said God. I said what Jesus, he just said that he is the one have the power of the flesh. I said to you that Jesus says before the world was exist, I am exist. Who was exist before the world? God. And the stupid you, when I ask when, you why Allah, shut up. When I ask you why Allah, he said, shut he up, God. shut up. When I ask you when why you Allah, say he said we, why Allah, he say we, you put your tail between your legs and you don't he want to answer. Say he is God, brother. I'm asking you, why, why, hold on. Why your God, he say we and us. Just read the top here. Just I don't the know. Here. I don't know if Sir, you are the Muslim. When you ask me about Jesus, I did not say to you, just read the tafsir. Shame on you. you. you want, Shame want, on want you, to potato. No, I answered you. I gave you the answer already. And now you are in trouble. Either you have to agree that your God, Allah, he say we, and he is not we, he is just one. Or you have to agree that Allah, he is we, and he is many. Which one? Which one what? Which one what? Are you slow or what? I'm asking you when Allah he say we. Is he many or one? We not say about Islam. We just say about Christianity now. Now, listen, Abdul, don't don't play don't, don't play stupid now. I'm asking you why Allah he say we. Is he many or one? One. One. Don't get married, my friend. Your wife, she will leave you for the, for the first real man show up in the street. What's wrong with you? Speak like a man. So I'm saying to you in the stupid Quran, Allah, he said, we send down. Allah, he said in the Quran, if we would like to have a wife or a woman, we will have it from us. Allah, when he say us, he mean who? Yes, he is one, but sometimes he is he one. Us. He is one. He is one. He is one. You know, my friend, speak like a man for for the sake of the shin of Allah. He is one. I got that. He is one. I'm asking you, Mister One. Why <laughs> Allah? Why Allah? He say we and you, us. You, if he you is just, one. Uh, run away from my question. Listen. Why Allah? He says if we would like to take a partner. We will take it from us. Us who? If. He just, just say if. Doesn't matter. He will take them from us. Us but who? If, but if. But if. Not, not happening. Um, Abdul. Are you, don't play stupid. I will give you the necklace seed. You will be smart. Allah, he said, if, no, I would no, like, no. if I would like to take a wife, no. listen, listen, no, 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 if I would like, if I would like to take a wife, listen, you are stupid. Everybody is laughing at you. And now you're trying to escape. You are, try, you are trying, <laughs> you to, to, you are trying to escape the humiliation. I answered you. Everybody, I know you. The, the you video is recorded. Everybody, I, I, I challenge you to download the video to post on your channel. People will die laughing at you. Why Allah and how Allah is one. Yet he says, if we would like to take a wife, a partner, we will take it from us. Us who? 
Why do you not answer my question? Why do you not answer my question? Why you don't answer my question? Are you, you, you know, answer that. Do you have a boyfriend? Are you a man? I, I, are I you a real man? Listen, why you don't answer my question? I'm asking you. I answer your question, and you are a potato. We are talking about the same question for the last 30 minutes. I explained to you. I showed you the answer, and now I want you. You are the one who mentioned the word us. You said Jesus did not say us. So for you, the only proof that God is more than one person is us. The Quran says us. That's mean according to your logic. Allah is many, not one. And I gave you the Quran. This is the chapter 21, verse number 17. Allah want to take That's a wife. My question, my, listen, my question is, when Jesus say God is father. Yeah, God it's not, we is. answer, we answer. Answer me about us, we will go back there, no problem. I will go back there until tomorrow, no problem. Tell me how about Allah. I answer you about Jesus, but I will answer you again and again, no problem. Can you tell me when Allah he say us, he meant what? Okay, answer me first. Uh, answer I can, me no, no, answer no, no, it's your turn, it's your turn, please, brother, it's your turn. Oh, you no, cannot please, 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 it's your turn, please. Brother, please, your turn, your now, your turn, your turn, please. When Allah he says us, he meant what? <laughs> Actually, you, you can answer my question. No, 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 please, please, brother, no, it's your turn, it's your turn now. Can you answer me, please, now? Why Allah? He said us. You are the one who mentioned the word us, and now you don't. You bite your you bite your tongue with it. You don't want to talk about us no more. So when Allah, He want to take a oh, partner. Shut me. up, shut up, potato. When Allah, He says, <laughs> I want to take a wife. You must get back Have you there. ever heard of a God? He want to take a wife. How your God can be God and He want to take a wife? Why you cannot answer my question? Why you cannot answer my question, my friend? You will be famous. What's your name? Uh, actually, I'm, uh, your name what? My name? Yeah. Dawood, Dawood Yusuf. Dawood Yusuf. My friend Dawood Yusuf, you will be the joke of every Indonesian. You just get your God busted. You cannot answer why Allah, he says us. You make and you are the one, and you are the one, and you are the one who said, if Jesus, he want to say that there is more than not only him, not only the father, he will use the word us. And now I showed you, and now I showed you, Allah, he says, Allah, he say us, and now you cannot answer. Okay, let me ask, let me ask. Why, why, what is the problem? Why you cannot answer about my little question? Why Allah, he say us? Just tell me why, why it's hurt. Why you are scared from what? Okay, okay. Now answer me. When Jesus say God is uh, Father, here we go. Listen. God and no, no, okay, no. I want you to tell me about us, and we can go to talk about Jesus, if you don't mind, please. Why yes, Allah? Is, you, why Allah? He say us. Why Allah? He say us. No, no. You answer me. No, 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 no. It's your turn now. Please, it's your turn. Okay. Why Allah? He say us. Is he one or he is many? I was answering you. Just no, you did not answer you. me. You never answering me about anything. So I'm asking you. How many times I needed to be? You know, I'm not going to hang up on you because we need a, we need somebody to laugh at. You became the comedy of Indonesia, yeah, you said, and you, you can imagine. You, you can imagine how many Indonesian they will laugh at you and they will die laughing at Indonesian man, Indonesian Muslim. Maybe you are a sheikh. You do not dare even to answer why Allah He say us. Very simple question. Don't run away from, from my question. Just answer I me. Am, when I, I say, answered you, and you coward. You don't want to answer me. I answer you. I'm done. You, okay. Okay. So I, now it's your turn. Answer me. This is the topic. How come Allah, he used the word us if he is one? You get, get busted, brother. Brother, I me. made you famous. They would see yourself. Everybody will die laughing at you. Do you that's, want to, that's also do you a question. So you don't want to answer. You so are you are you saying to me, brother? Are you saying to me? Are you saying to me that you are ashamed of your Quran and you do not know why Allah is saying stupid things like this? Is that the answer? You cannot man answer my question. Are you saying that Allah is a stupid? He said us. He don't. I was answering about that many times. You're I, not you did not me. answer me. I, I, I'm repeating the same question for the last 20 minutes. Why Allah he say we and us? Give me the answer. You just I'm repeating because you never, 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 never,
Where you cannot answer my question. I answer you, and you are a potato. Everybody because, is laughing at you. you are you are you looking at the chat? People are dying laughing. Look at the chat. Why you don't? Okay, what? Okay, what? I mean, listen, 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 listen. What is the problem? Will what will happen if you say to me, "Why Allah He said us"? Why? What is the problem? What are you afraid of from? It's just you a simple question. It's just a simple question. Case. I answered you. I am asked. I answered you. <laughs> yeah, I am. I feel sorry for you, uh, uh, Abd Abdul. So, are you going to tell me why Allah has said us? You Muslims are not monotheists. You worship my God. Answer me first. How many gods you have? How many gods you have? You cannot you have answer one? my question. So now we prove that Jesus, Jesus said, Jesus, he said, the one who saw me, he saw the Father. I said to you, can Muhammad say? The one who saw me, he saw Allah. I asked you asked said no. You. So I, so ans I answer you, and now we discover, and now we discover it. that Allah is us. Okay, I, I, okay. I will, I will ask you. I, very, I will make it simple for you. When Allah He said He wanna take away. Don't ask. Don't ask me. Just, just answer it. No. Okay. You see, you are the one who said to me read the interpretation. Correct. As long as you don't want to answer, is it okay to go and read the interpretation? Okay. Just answer. Just answer me. Okay. So. Uh, do you want me to show you the interpretation for the verse in front of us? The answer is. Are you going to accept? You are the one who said to me we can read the interpretation. Okay, just answer. Just answer. Why don't you just answer? Just answer. I'm asking you, why Allah He say us? You cannot answer my question. Yeah, you are just a stupid kid. Okay. Yes, <laughs> shut up, idiot. <laughs> very simple question that Abdul is making popo in his pants. I will make you very famous in Indonesia. Actually, somebody told me that his your name you call yourself. Uh, he is a Yubi Muslim. Yubi Muslim. Okay. Uh, do you see the cowards? So they go to uh, uh, to the Bible. They pick up a verse. But the verse there, even that verse, is a presentation to who is Jesus. Even that verse is telling us that Jesus is God. So the coward, he don't want the other verses. This is the only verse I like. I have glorified thee on earth. I have finished the work which has given to me to do. And now, O oh Father, who? Father. So when we speak about God, Jesus called him Father, and he is the Son. Glorify your Son, so the Son may glorify thee. The coward Abduls didn't want to read, to read verse number one, and verse number two, and verse number three, and verse number four, because all the chapter is Jesus saying, I am God, worship me. Hypocrite coward like their prophet. And when we ask them why your God, he say us, he do poo, -poo in his pant. Those potatoes do not know, because they are following Muhammad, that we Christians believe in one true God. And Jesus, the son, is born of the father. He is born of the Father. That's why Jesus says, given to me. From who? From the Father. So, when Jesus is born of the Father, we are not having second God. Jesus the Messiah is the humble image of the, glor glor the, the glorious God. That's why the Bible says he humbled himself. And he took the flesh of a human being. He took the image of us. When we ask a Muslim, do you have a soul and you have a flesh? He say yes. We say, are you two? He say, no, one. So how come the human being is not working with your logic? If it's impossible for one person to be one and two in the same time. You are a one person. But you agree that your flesh is not your soul and your soul is not your flesh. But you never said that you are two. If a human being, 
He can be two and one in the same time. Why God cannot have a son born of him, not created? And here in front of us, when the Messiah speak about the Father glorifying Jesus, why God will glorify Jesus anyway? Jesus explained, because my glory was with ye, with you, and with myself before the world was exist. And then those cowards, they say to you, where Jesus says, I'm God, worship me. I have manifested the name into men. Jesus is sent by the Father. All the Christian believe in that. It's not the opposite. It's not the Christian don't believe that Jesus sent the Father. He's born of the Father. But Jesus confirmed that he exists before the whole world is exist. And you know, uh, uh, any any person who have little dignity, but they don't. Those are people who do muta, yet they claim that they don't do fornication. They call it marriage. They do orfi marriage. They, go, they do zawaj marriage. They do one night stand marriage. They have sex with the children. And then they claim that they can explain our Bible for us. But yet when we ask them simple question about their God, when I take a wife, as a partner and yet he say he will take the wife from us we ask him why he is saying that after 20 30 minutes repeating the same question he refused because they are cowards and i'm sure if i call him again and again he will never answer but maybe we have another muslim let us take another i hope this guy is he will speak like a man this this boy he's like uh, he have a boyfriend Uh, the one who's texting me, if you are not a Muslim, don't text me. The one who's texting me right now in Skype, if you are not a Muslim, don't text me. Only Muslims, they can call us. Do we have any Muslim? Nah, you did not answer me. Okay. I hope that all men in Indonesia, they speak like this. That will be disgusting. You know, when they answer, they, get, they do poo poo. But Jesus did not say us. Okay, now let us go with us then. So if Jesus says us, that's mean there's more than one. Okay. Allah, he said us. Are you going to answer? You are running away from my question. Oh boy. So all this time I was answering what? <laughs> Us. <laughs> all right, let's see the guy. Remember, if you are not a Muslim and trying to join me in a call, I will block you. Hello? Hello, Fakira? Hello? Yeah, we lost him. Hold on. Hello? Hello? Yes, I hear you. Are you a Muslim? Um... No, I'm not. But I, so I, why I, you are calling me? No, 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 no. We said Muslims only can call. Don't don't call. Here we go. You're blocked. Don't act stupid with me. I say Muslims mean only Muslims. Hello. Why don't answer me? <laughs> you know, if I go to Indonesia and I'll find out that all men, they speak this way, I will take the first airplane and go back. If 
from the airport. Any Muslim can tell us why Allah He say we? Jesus, He said, You are the only true God. Yeah. And He said, I am your only son too. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> Any Mohammedan? Wanna try his luck? So what we you know what we notice from the Muhammadan that they have a fake monotheism because either Allah he say us and he mean it or he say us and he don't mean it so he's a liar which means it's a fake us so if Allah he have a real us that Islam is based on a lie and Allah is not one and when they say Allah is one as they claim well, this is against us. And as you see here, usually the Muslim, they say, like if you read in the same verse, it says, we could surely have taken it from us. Allah again saying we. You ask the Muslim why he say we. They say to you, well, you know, like uh, when a king, he talk, he say we, but this is, uh, this is not true. A king, when he say we, he is speaking in the name of the nobles who elected him to be the king. He is one of them. That's why he said we, like we the people. But is he we? So when you say to me, it's a language figure, that means Allah himself, he don't like himself to be one, and he find himself look better, sound better, stronger when he say we. He don't like it to be I, When we read the Bible, we will find that Jesus said, I am the life. I am the resurrection. I am the truth. I am he. Yet we are the Christians who believe in three persons, one God. But each time we see Jesus speaking, he says, I am. If you go to John chapter 14, verse number 6. If you go to Matthew, we see the heaven open and God spoke, saying, this is my only begotten son. So the hypocrite Muslims, they go you see, if we if we show them one verse, they will say, oh no, you have to read the verse before it and the verse after it. Okay, but if we go in the Quran and we read 10 verses before and 10 verses after, we will find that there is no connection between them. This is a stupid Quran, stupid book. As we just showed you, when Allah, he says in the Quran that, you know, today I perfected your religion for you. What does this have to do with the verse before it. Nothing. What does this have to do with the verses after it? Nothing. What that have even to do with the whole chapter? Nothing. In our book is different. You don't take a verse, you take the whole chapter. And the chapter itself says it clearly that Jesus exists before the whole world is exist. No, he said, you are the only true God. And he said, I am your only begotten son too. You are the father. So if we read here, what this, what those verses have to do? The table, this chapter supposedly is about Jesus
Allah he sent him seven sandwiches every sandwich have a wheel so what this have to do with if this is about Jesus why you are talking about animals obligation hunting pork today I completed your favor of my favor upon you accepted Islam as a religion for you what does this have to do with Jesus? What all those verses have to do with Jesus? Look at this. And just to show you that not only the, the, the Muslims are stupid when they speak about the Bible, even their God. In the Quran, in chapter 5, verse number 18, it says, and both the Jews and the Christians say, we are the children of Allah. For sure we are not children of Allah, Allah is Satan. We are children of the Father and his beloved ones. Say, why then does he punish you for your sin? So the stupid Muhammad, Aka Allah, think that when the Christian they say that they are the children, they meant really they are the children. This is how we see it. And the verse in front of you. And not only that, he said, no, but you are a human. I mean, do you see the stupidity? Allah is saying to the Christians, no, but you are a human being. So the stupid God of Islam do not know what the Christian meant when they say, we are the children of God. This is stupid false prophet, Aka Allah. He think that when the Christian they say, we are the children of God, they are saying that they are gods and they are not a human. So based on the understanding of Islam, God is not only uh, uh, three, like uh, uh, the God of the Christian, not only three, like God, the Son, God, the Father, God, the Holy Spirit. No, the seven billion human beings, they are gods too. Do we have any Abdul would dare to call and tell us any of the topic we mention? As an example, Allah, he say us. And do you see how they are in trouble for a very simple question? Allah, he say us. Why? Don't ask me. Allah want to take a partner from us. Us. Take a partner from us. You see, usually they try to escape the word we by saying Allah here is speaking about himself being majestic, which is very stupid to say, because if Allah he is using a word in the language of a human being to look better, that is even more stupid. That's mean Allah, he don't feel confident, secure, sufficient, would be an I alone. He like to be we. He feel better when he say we. When he say I, he feel lonely, he feel weak. But if we say we, now we are majestic. This is what the Muhammadan they say to us. Allah, he say we, to be majestic. But in the same verse, we have a bigger problem. Allah want to take a partner as a wife for fun. If he want to take it, he will take it from us. Is this us now is the same as the majestic we? And because this guy, he do not know what to say, you know, he don't dare. And I know if I kept repeating the question a thousand times, I will not answer. Do we have any Muhammadan? I don't know if Allah is going to invite us to the wedding party. Any Muhammadan would like to join us?
Anyone? Jesus, he said, you are the only true. You know, and the funny is, look like the Christian, they never saw what Jesus said. The Muslim, he just noticed. But the Muslim, at the same time, they did not notice the verses before, the verses after it. Somebody said, how the Congo get back to uh, to uh, uh, Asia, to uh, Australia, after the flood of Noah? Well, that's very easy, my friend. He was writing you. I mean, there's no way the Congo will not find a way and you all exist. Very silly. And maybe the Congo was created or exists after the flood. We don't know. Do you know? I will, I will, I will give you an idea. I think the Congo, he came by parachute. Uh, like, yeah, you know, maybe, brother, uh, when the flood of Noah happened, he'd call Elon Musk and he said to him, take me and, you know, and they, they went together vacation. And when they came back, the flood was over. Take a beer. Do we have any Mohammedan? Who is a Muhammadan can answer a very simple question? As you see, we answer you. The chapter, the one they mentioned, John 17, is a great chapter. And that chapter announcing that Jesus is the judge of the mankind and he is our God. And God the Father, he glorified God the Son, which was exist before the whole world was exist. It's in the front of you. And yet the Muslim, they claim they did not see it. It doesn't say that, CP. And this is why I ask him, like, did you see verse number one and verse number two? Or you just, uh, it happened that you landed over verse number three? Because those hypocrites, they don't want to see verse number one and verse number two. Because... The Bible says, who is Jesus? Jesus is the Son. And when Jesus speak about God, he speak about God the Father. So, they did not see verse number one. They did not see verse number two. They did not see verse number four. Not five, not six, not seven, not etc. They saw only verse number three. Verse number two will hurt their feeling. Jesus saying that he is God, the judge of the judgment day. Jesus saying that he is the one giving the eternal life. A Muslim might say, oh, he was given because he's born from the Father. He's born from the Father. Whatever he have is from the Father. Very simple. When Jesus speak about what is given to him, given to him as what? As a prophet, as a messenger? No, as a son. The hour has come. Glorify the son. That the son also glorify thee. And as you see, God the Father glorify the son. And God the Son glorify the Father. And Jesus is announcing that all the power I have is given to me from the Father. What power he have? Is that the power of a prophet? No. A prophet of him, like a power of an angel? No. Because only God, he judge mankind. Because Judgment need a qualification. You see, I can be a judge in a court, but I cannot guarantee any just judgment for a very simple reason. I'm a human. I don't know what people did 
behind doors. They bring me some witnesses, some papers. I study the case and I judge based on those papers and the witnesses, but maybe all of them, they are lying. But you cannot lie to God. This is why the judgment over the flesh is going to be done by Jesus, for nobody can lie to Jesus. And even the Quran, say it clearly that nobody can lie to Jesus. Jesus can tell them what they are hiding in their houses. He can tell them what they ate. What they ate in chapter 3, verse number 49. The Muslim, they will say to you, by the power of Allah. That's your claim, prove it. And the funny is, the Quran claim that nobody knows the unseen save Allah. So how Jesus, he knew? How somebody just came to me, I can't tell him what he ate. And I inform you of what you ate or what you eat and what you store in your houses. Surely therein is a sign for you if you believe. Sign of what? The Quran says, no one knows the unseen save Allah. وَمَنْ يَعْلَمُ الْغَيْبِ إِلَّا اللَّهِ Did Allah give Jesus the ability to know the unseen? If this is the if this is what happened, that means now we have two gods. Chapter five, verse number one oh nine. It says, "Inna ka anta alamul ghuyub." You are the one who knows the unseen. Chapter five, one sixteen. And the funny is, uh, in chapter 5, verse 116, Allah, he asked Jesus, do you ask your followers to worship me and my mother? Because the stupid God of Islam, he think, Aka Muhammad, that the Christians, they have three gods, God the Father, he married from Mary, and they have a baby God, his name is Jesus. And you will notice here that Jesus said to him, to Allah, well, how I'm going to say, you know what I, you know what I said, why are you asking me? So what the kind of a question this question is? You know if I said or not. And then he got him more busted. He said to him, you know what is in my inner self, though I do not know what is in yours. Allah, he knew what is inside Jesus, in the inner of Jesus, what he's thinking about. But Jesus do not know what is the inner of Allah. How true for that is? Well, so how Jesus, he knew the inner of a human being? If this is only a power of Allah, only you, truly, you, only you, are all knower that is all that is hiding and unseen. But if we go, we will see Jesus in chapter 3. He is the one who knows what people are hiding in their houses. He can resurrect people from death. He can make the blind see. He can heal the leper. He can create from the mud the bird. So the Quran say that Jesus is a creator. The Muslim, they say, Allah gave him the power. We will laugh at this because Allah cannot prove it. Prove it. Muhammad's children, according to Muslim, they die. Could Allah resurrect the children of Muhammad? Muhammad himself, he died by poison, rat poison from Home Depot. And the Muslim did not bury Muhammad for three days. Three days they did not bury him until he stink. 
Ibn Abbas he said, "Itfinu sahibakum fa innahu ya'sanu kama ya'sanu al-bashar." Bury your friend, he stink like all human they stink. But what happened here? Muhammad he claimed in different location, different story that prophets when they die their their body cannot be consumed. So when he die, and as you see, he claimed that his body will never decay. The Muslim, why they will bury him? They, they, they did not bury him. His body will not decay. He, this is what he said. He said that you're even the prior of the Muslim will be sent to Muhammad as if he's God. Imagine the Muslim, they pray, and the false translation in front of us here saying, invoke many blessing on me. In the fact, in Arabic it says, أَكْثِرُوا عَلَيَّ الصَّلَاةِ Pray on me. فَإِنَّ صَلَاتَكُمْ مَعْرُوضَ عَلَيْهِ Your prayer is going to be submitted to me. Who is God? Shouldn't the prayer be submitted to God? No, the prayer in Islam is submitted to Muhammad. The companion they said to Muhammad, but aren't you going to be dead then? How our prayer will be submitted to you? Muhammad, he said, after they ask him, but how how our prayer will be submitted to you when your body has decayed? He said, Allah forbid it, the earth from consuming the bodies of prophets. So when Muhammad, he died, the Muslims did not bury him for three days, three nights, until his belly was full of fart. As Ibn Abbas, he said, when Thanat Khunsura, his belly became full of fart and his fingers are shrinking. Do we have any Muhammadan? Those who they are from Indonesia, don't forget to download this video and post it in every Indonesian channel. Let everybody in, you know, laugh at this. Okay, you did not answer me. You did not answer me. Okay, don't forget. We do not need to dig Muhammad to find that he is, he, he, he stink. The Muslim in his time, they get him busted. You see, this is why they don't marry him. When he said that, you know, if if Muhammad, his body will not decay, why they wouldn't bury him anyway? There's no point. Why you want to bury a person, his body will not decay? Just put him in a room. No need for a grave. Is my voice is good? <clears throat> Why uh, uh, Paul and Peter disagree with each other? That is your understanding. That's false argument. They agree with each other. You see, when the brothers, they discuss uh, uh, something, uh, doesn't mean they disagree. Then you will notice that agree in everything. <clears throat> this is why if we follow, if we, if we read what Peter said and what Paul said, we will not find any contradiction. Both are the same. Like both they agree about circumcision. Both they agree about how to treat the the uh, the, the new convert, those who they are not uh, not from the Jews. So what are you talking about? You are very silly. Do we have any Muhammad in here?
Anyone? Peter never praised Paul. Why do we need to praise Paul? We Christian, we praise God. We don't praise Paul and praise Peter. Don't say stupid things. Otherwise, I will send you to Allah. Free shipping and handling. Praise. Do we have any Muhammadan? He did not die yet, and his body, his his belly did not uh, full of fart like Muhammad yet. Any Muhammadan? No Muhammadan will call us to tell us about the Holy Quran or to help his Indonesian friend who could not answer why Allah he say us and we. Very simple. Anyone? Hmm? Second Peter, yeah, yeah, but this is not praising, you know, the word praise, when you say praise, you know, we praise God only, we don't praise uh, anyone else, but uh, for sure that, uh, you know, Paul, he have his place between the disciples for a reason. <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? Nobody? And we mentioned to you before that even the Quran speak of Paul. You see, Muhammad is a thief. He have nothing to do with Christianity. He have nothing to do with Judaism. But because he lived between the Christians and the Jews, he starts stealing figures and names and stories and he added to his book. If you go to chapter 36, verse number 14, that verse is speaking about three messengers sent to the city of Antioch. If you go and read the Muslim interpretation, you will find that those three are John, Simon Peter, and Paul. And you can open up Nikathi and read it. So the Muhammadan, they try to avoid talking about the religion and they try to find a verse in the Bible to be stuck with it. Oh, Jesus says you are the only true God. Well, we agree. You are the only true God. But the same Jesus said, the one who saw me, he saw the Father. That's mean he saw God. The true God. When the disciples say to Jesus, why you don't show us the Father and that's it? Jesus said, I am with you all this time and you do not know me yet. So the Muhammadan, because they are so desperate following the Satan Muhammad, trying to find a way to get Jesus out of it. You see, Islam is anti-Jesus. They hate Jesus. They don't want Jesus to be anything. They want Muhammad to replace Jesus. This is why they change his name to Muhammad, which means the praised one. So Islam is an antichrist. Don't want you to praise Jesus. You need to praise Muhammad. Muhammad, he claimed, many things supposed to belong to Jesus. As an example, isn't it the Bible says everything created by him and for him? 
Is that correct? What Muhammad he said? Muhammad he said that Allah said to him, if not you Muhammad, I created not the universe. Even Adam, even the throne of Allah, even the chair of Allah, the, 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 the tablet of Allah, the pen of Allah, uh, Adam, Eve, universe, moon, sun, stars, you, me, we are created only for the sake of Muhammad. A Muslim is asking question, is it true this hadith where Allah he says, if not you, Muhammad, I did not create the creation? The answer is indeed the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the reason of a creation of Adam alayhi sallam, which means peace on him, and the universe. And if the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah pray on him and salute him. Look, they were, Allah himself, he prayed on Muhammad, was not in existence. The Arsh, Allah, he will not have a throne. The Kursi, the chair of Allah, is not going to be exist. The Lawah, which means the tablet of Allah, the Qalam, the pen of Allah, the sky, the earth, the heaven, the hell, the trees, the stones, and all other creatures would not exist. Isn't it, this is convincing you enough that Muhammad is trying to replace Jesus? Isn't it? It's obvious. He is the devil. He's trying to replace Jesus, but can the devil replace Jesus? This is why the devil been exposed. He was busy having sex with the children. He was accused that he is a thief still in panties. He was caught red-handed cheating his wives in her bed. He is, a, he is a person who promised many promises and he broke his promises. He take oath, false oath. He made verses saying, Allah will not take you accountable for false oath you take. Allah will take you accountable only for what you meant in your heart. Can you believe it? Allah will not take you accountable for your false oath. If you go and read the Old Testament, you will see how the Jews avoid even to say God as a name. They use words, certain words, like Adonai, Hashem, etc. But they avoid using the name of God, for this is a big, 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 big thing to do. Muhammad is teaching his followers to take a false oath, and the Muslim, look at the translation, says, unintentional your oath. What intentional? So you take an oath, you don't mean it? You're lying. In the Old Testament, there's a Jewish man, he took an oath. You see, the Muslim, they say that the Jews, they corrupted their book. Is it true that in the Old Testament, there's a Jewish man, he took an oath, that if they won the war, the first thing he see, he will slaughter. And then what happened? The first thing he saw, it was his daughter. The daughter even did not reject. She wanted her father to fulfill his oath. Do you see how serious the Jews about oath? Muhammad is teaching his followers, who care what kind of oath you took? You don't mean it. You don't mean it. He will not take you accountable. So he is asking the Muhammadan to use the name of God, which is their God, in vain. Satanic. And now you go to, you know, if you see a Muslim saying to you, I swear by Allah, laugh. They are allowed to lie. They are allowed to take false oath. Allah will judge you by your heart what you meant.
So a Muslim, he can swear to you that I love you. You see some Western women, they marry Muslim men, which is not marriage, really. It's just a, you know, a sex contract. Uh, she asked him, do you have any... I will go to Jordan because my parents are sick. I need to go and see them. And then the wife, she when he come, she feels something fishy. She said, did you marry another woman? I swear by Allah. I swear by Allah, I did not marry any woman. There is a, a stupid, ignorant woman. She married a Muslim. And she found out that her husband from Jordan, that's why I mentioned the word Jordan, for many years he goes every year to visit his parents. And then later she found out, because now he has kids, she found out that he is married. So she is asking the sheikh in the internet, my husband, he did that to me. He lied to me. Even I asked him if he is married here, he, you know, he, he did not, he said no. The sheikh, he said to her, first of all, it's not your right to ask him if he is married or not. None of your business. He's allowed to marry up to four. Secondly, he is allowed to lie to you. So the stupid Western woman who married this man, she thought, oh, the sheikh will take her side. Oh, he lied to you, sorry, disgusting. Oh, he married from your back, he did not tell you, disgusting. He said to her, you stupid idiot. This is Islam. He can marry as much as he want. Who are you? You can't question him why. No, this is not a poor woman. She is a stupid woman. There's difference between somebody is a victim and somebody choose to be a victim. When you choose to be a you know a part of this, you are part of it. Once I, I met a woman, uh, actually, I, ha I met two cases in, in the internet. One of them, she married a guy from Kuwait. He's very old. She's very young. and She's very pretty. That's why he married her. Uh, but she did not convert to Islam. And then he died. He's the guy is already like over 90, very old. She married him because he's rich. So she thought if he dies, she will get a lot of money. He was so cheap with her. But she keeps saying to herself, soon he will die. Soon. I mean, the guy, he can't even walk. And he died. But then she discovered that according to Sharia law, non-Muslim women, wife, she cannot inherit the husband. <laughs> so she was his sex slave for all those years. For nothing. Another woman, she married an old man too. He's rich, he is from the Gulf. He died. But this woman, she learned that if she is not a Muslim, she will not inherit. So she converted. But then she learned that she cannot take the money. <laughs> out of the country. She have to stay in the country. <laughs> so those stupid ones, evil ones, those are not poor women. Those are, you know, evil, evil ones. They worship money. They are for sale. Whoever have money, you know, he put them in the truck, he take them. And they thought they are going to take advantage of this old man. So she is evil too. She is no better. She is, willing, she is for sale. Who is going to buy? She has no religion. She has no God. She is willing to even to convert or to sleep with a man. He is way older than her. He is from different religion. He is even, you know, savage just for the sake of money. And then she got nothing. Don't text me unless you are a Muslim. Do we have any Muhammadan? So the only Muhammadan today, he calls us this guy. Uh, answer my question. 
Don't run from a question, okay? Don't run from a question. Please answer your question. You are running. I get past it. Get past it. <laughs> and you know, even if you are married to a Muslim man, there's many dummy. I mean, people are dummy. You know, in Islam, a woman, she don't inherit much. Especially if you're married to many. And if you have kids, you get nothing. Literally nothing. <clears throat> ah, but dummy people. After they divide everything, you will have one to one to eight, but at, you know a one to eight will be it will end nothing, will be nothing. Especially if you have many kids, have many daughters. Oh boy. Any Mohammedan? It would be easier for a Muslim to join. My friend, I do not need your advice. Muslim, they come fine. We don't worry. Don't text me for no reason. No Muhammadan. So no Muslim, no Muslim I talk about the Holy Quran. And intentional accounts? No, it doesn't. Uh, uh, you see, uh, what what he is saying that the husband, men, uh, everybody, he take an oath, but he don't mean it. So Allah will not take it. It's very simple. He don't mean it. But isn't it all the oath we lie? We don't mean them. Isn't it? We don't mean them. When I say I swear to you by etc. I'm going to do this, but in my heart, I don't mean it. That's mean it's I'm lying. This is what the verse is saying. You can lie. <clears throat> Any Mohammedan? Nobody? We can call Allah Mr. Us. Allah is the only one God, but He is Mr. Us. Who, if you would like to take a partner, He will take it from us. Hmm. Islam fastest growing in first religion. Islam is the fastest day in religion. My friend, just to show you, do you see even the, the, the football? The football game is a clear proof that Islam is dead. Do, don't you know that this is a major, major sin against Islam to play football? Don't you know that? I mean, those guys, they are inviting people, wearing no hijab, short clothes, drinking beer, Women, they have uh, with the bikini, uh, they open nightclubs, dancing, music, uh, you know, all of this is against Islam. So, and all the Muslims are so excited because nobody want to follow Muhammad. You see, in one hand, those Muslims, they claim that they are serious about the religion. But in fact, everything they are doing now is the music dancing, songs, everything is against Islam. You know, I did not watch, and I will not watch this stupid uh, uh, FIFA. I believe this is evil gang, mafia. But I saw only one thing. 
in that uh, uh, festival. I saw two women wearing no clothes jumping on the stage in the middle of the stadium. In the heart of Islamic countries, which is Qatar, which is number one supporters for terrorism in the world. But did you see any sheikh making jihad, Allahu Akbar? Shakira? What the other one? Uh, uh, what Shakira and uh, what? Lopez? Shakira, Shakira. Not a single shake opened his mouth. Dancing, drinking, music, uh, uh, naked and on the stage. Nobody, it's okay. Shakira, Shakira. Let us see, maybe we have somebody. <clears throat> hmm. <coughs> we are calling Abdul to see if he will answer. Hello? Yes, my friend, you are a Muslim? Yes. Okay, you said there is no holes in the Quran? No no contradiction. Well, I don't know. I don't know if you heard Yasser Qadi. He says there is holes in the narrative. The standard narratives has holes. No, he, he was wrong. He was, he was talking about the preservation. Oh, so you agree with him. The Quran was not preserved. I'm talking about contradiction. I don't care about preservation. Oh, so you are saying that the Quran does not have contradiction, but have it changed? I, I don't know if it changed or not. I, I, there's just, all I know is there's no, it's the only book that has no contradiction. All right. Well, as long as the Quran does not have a contradiction, I want to ask you a very simple question. Uh, there is a verse in the Quran. I will put it for you on the screen. Can you see my... my uh, uh, my YouTube um, is my uh, YouTube page just to be sure to to uh, to mute the sound in YouTube so you can hear me only from, please from I see it yeah this verse here in front of us chapter 2 verse number 29 can you explain to me this verse if you don't mind uh, go back to English please okay I can't read that. If you want, you can open your computer, no problem. Chapter 2, verse number 28, 29, sorry. <clears throat> you see it? Yes. Can What's you read? That? Can you read and tell me what, what, what do you understand? He it is who created for you all that is on earth. He rose over towards heaven and made him seven heavens and he is all knower of everything. Okay, what do you understand from this verse? He made everything. No, this is not uh, it says here which okay, based on based on this, uh, how the creation started. Where where Allah started the creation? Uh He created uh It doesn't say who where it started. It just said he made heaven. Isn't it saying that he is he created for you that all in earth? I see the word earth there. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Everything on earth. All okay. Earth. So what is first Allah created the earth or the heaven? Well, it says then he made heaven. So earth first. Earth first. And remember, you are the one who said 
there's no contradiction in the Quran, right? I mean, it, it says it can be explained if it's if there is there's no problem. Explain here we go. I'm listening. So he created everything in earth and then he went to the sky and then he made them seven sky, correct? From that, I mean, that's what it looked like, huh? That's what it looked like. No, I, I don't. I, I want, I want the answer from you. You are the Muslim, not me. You know, I don't want to teach you religion. You teach me. So, is it, is it what this is verse saying that everything created first in the earth and then he start working in the heaven? Does the oh, hold on, hold on. Does the Arab, does the Arabic say then or does it say it, yeah, and? Yeah, in Arabic it says thumma stawa. And that means then. Thumma not only mean then, it means a while after. There's a Muslim guy, he teach Arabic actually. He tried to convert people to Islam. He have a whole video about Thumma. The whole video. You can go and search with Thumma, how to use Thumma. And you will see okay. that the Thumma is, a, is used only for something not right away happen, but way after, for long, long time. Uh, and this is what Thumma mean. So it is him then he when he created everything on earth then thumma after that he went up to heaven and he start making them seven heaven so which one allah he finished first based on this chapter verse based based on that if the arabic is correct then he made the everything on earth and then he made the the heaven and the seven heavens. okay wonderful we go to different verse in the quran and we will see how that works uh, let us see. We go to chapter seventy nine, verse number. You can read if you want for any verse you want, but uh, the topic starts from verse number twenty seven. Can you read for me? Hold on, it, it, uh, it's a little behind. <coughs> Which verse? Which verse? Chapter 79, verse 27, 28, 29, etc. Okay. Are you more difficult to grade, or is the heaven that he constructed? Okay. What, what about that is contradiction? Continue. He raised raised it high. He raised its height and he has equally or, ordered it. He covers it with darkness and it's... I can't see. Uh, scroll down. It's night. Uh, he covered it's night, with he darkness. He covered with yeah. darkness and it's forenoon. He bring out with light. And after that... He spread the earth, and after that, he brought water and substance, and after that, he made mountains. But the other verse we showed you, you agreed that it says that Allah finished everything in the earth. Then he went to the sky and he made them seven sky. In chapter 79, Allah finished everything in the sky. He made even the stars. He made the day and the night. Which means sun. But, uh, but it doesn't say seven heaven. Maybe it just... It says, no. What? It says, are you more difficult? Or it's heaven has constru constructed... All the heaven is constructed. There's nothing uh, to, 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 to make. That's it. All the heaven. And then he raised it high and he equally ordered it. Equally, the heaven, there is seven heavens, you know. He divided yes. them into seven, and then he raised it high and has equally ordered it. And after that, and then he made the, the night and the day, which mean the stars, etc. Wait, wait, it doesn't say after until it says uh, here the, the night. So maybe he was talking about yeah, the after, night. Uh, after he finished in the sky, he went to the earth. And after that, he went to the earth. But he could make night and then make earth and then make heaven because it doesn't say after heaven. No, no, it says, read carefully. Okay, after that, after that what? After what? After Allah, he finished with, with the after sky, After night. Right? Okay. After he made night. Okay, after and he made night. When he say uh, day and night, not only day and night. After yes. he made day and night, 
uh, he, uh, and he made he, he bring out light, which is the sun, right? The stars. Right. Did he make? Did he make? Uh, could he have made light without the stars, fellow? Maybe he did that. Well, he made light, the darkness, and and forenoon. You know, forenoon. You know yes, what forenoon, yes. right? So the, the, yes. this is this is about our day. Forenoon, afternoon, uh, the morning, right? So he made okay. he made forenoon, which means uh, 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 one uh, uh, in, in Arabic we says duhaha, and uh, he break out the light. He brought out the light. And then after that, Allah start working in the earth. Let us continue. We are not done. I will show you. I will show you another verse. Hold on. Just to make it more clear, so you will not have any um, question. I have never seen that. But I'm sure there's an explanation. I just I I for sure, I, for I sure can come back with the, always there's explanation. explanation. Muslims can explain anything, no problem. Yeah, Here yeah, yeah. That's okay. why it's better. Okay, read for me. Chapter 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 forty one. First number What's the verse? Chapter 41, verse number 9. Say, O Muhammad, do you very barely disbelieve in him who created the earth in two days? And you set up rivals in worship with him. That is the Lord of the element, mankind, the jinn, and all that exist. He placed therein firm mountains from above it and he blessed it and measured there in its sustenance in four days equal but it doesn't say then continue uh, for all those who ask then oh oh now we have a problem now it is so clear so as you see here, according to here, Allah, he made, he hang up. He said, oh, he just noticed. <laughs> he just noticed that the Quran got busted. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you hear him saying, oh? <laughs> he was saying just a second ago but he didn't he did not say then he did not say then then is coming based on this chapter Allah created everything in the earth in two days the earth sorry the earth alone two days in four days other four days everything in the top of the earth then he went to the sky, and the sky was a smoke, there was nothing. And he told the earth and the heaven, come willingly, which is very stupid. And then he made them seven skies. And then he created the stars. If you go to the previous chapter, chapter 79, as you see here, the last thing Allah, he finished, is the stars. And then we adorned the nearest, lowest heaven with lamps, stars. This is the last thing he did. In chapter 41. The first thing he did in chapter 41 was creating the earth. The second was creating the mountains. If you go to chapter 79, it is totally the opposite. He created the sky, he lifted up the sky, he made the day and the night, and then after that he started walking in the earth, he made it flat. See, the translation here is false. The haha -ha does not mean spread, it means flat. Zakir Naik, he says, the ha-ha, brother, the word the ha-ha coming from the word do here, and do here mean bowl. 
what a stupid idiot. A Muslim kid many years ago, he made a video to refute me about the, the word Daha. So this stupid kid, he's stupid. He said that, and then the Muslim, they copy him, even Zakir Naik. And this is telling you that Zakir Naik, he claimed to be a scholar, but he is a, a joker. You will not find one even Muslim Muslim person agree that the word Daha, like the Arabic dictionary is there. Anyway, so after that, he spread the earth. After that, he brought the, the water and the grass. And after that, he made the mountains. The last thing he did, the mountains. The second thing he did in the previous chapter, it was the mountain, the first, the earth. And the last thing he did in chapter 41, it was the stars. The last thing he did in chapter 79 is the mountains. And this poor Muslim, Abdul Rafiq, Abid Rafiq, he called me to say, there's no contradiction in the Quran. It's in the front of you. Very simple. You can just read them and write down in order which one first. So in chapter 79, the last thing Allah he did is the mountains. It's in the front of you. And not only, by the way, the Quran claimed that Allah, he placed the mountains in the top of the earth. Which is very funny, because mountains are not placed in the top of the earth. <clears throat> Do we have any Muhammadan? As you see, the Quran is not only there is a hole in the narrative, it is a Hawli book. It's the Hawli Quran. Any Muhammadan? And right away he hang up when he noticed that this is really bad. At least this guy he have a decency. I mean, the previous guy from Indonesia, I mean, very, they could, speaking like a girl, you know, I mean, no, sir, that is the question. You did not answer me. I was disgusted really when I hear him. But this guy, he's speaking like a man. And he was decent. He noticed that the Quran is messed up. He hung up. He saved himself from the embarrassment. And you know, just to show you how they lie, like as you see here, where it says <coughs> that uh, he, he spread out the earth. He spread what? He spread out the earth. Zakir Naik, he says the, uh, the word the ha mean uh, like a ball. If you go to the Islamic scholars, the big ones, the real ones, 79, 30, you will see the following. Do you see how the balls of Zak and Nag, they are made barbecue? We boil them. After that, he spread out the earth. He made it flat. Zak and Nag, in his video, he claimed that the word Dahaha, and by the way, Zak he don't speak Arabic, which is very funny. And those are the ones who speak Arabic very well. What they say? And after that, he spread the earth out and he made it flat for it flat, for it have been created before the heaven. Do you see it? And here you ask yourself, how Allah created the earth, yet he did not create a space for it? I mean, do you see how stupid this religion? The Muslim, they think, because Islam teach, that the earth and the heaven, they are separated entity. But in reality, we are inside the heaven, inside the space. We are not out of the space. So Muhammad, he taught the Muslims always that the sky is a roof. 
There's nothing underneath of us except the earth. There's no sky underneath of us. The sky is always up. So uh, uh, the sky is a roof, and that is sky in the top of a flat earth. And when Allah, he go, he go up. Why? Because the sky is always up. This is why Muslims, when they pray, they pray in the direction of the Kaaba. But as you know, it's impossible to pray in the direction of the Kaaba if you are a person who lives just a uh, hundred mile away from the Kaaba. The earth is, is not a flat. A person who lives in USA or Australia, in order to face the Kaaba, he has to put his head in the toilet seat. For the Kaaba is in the other side. And not to forget to mention, if you miss in the direction, if you can claim a direction, one degree, that will be maybe hundreds of miles. You know what I mean? Like, you know, when uh, when people, they build a wall, if you see when they build a wall, they put a line. Like now they use a laser line. They put, like they put a nail, they, they put, a, they make a brick here. They have like to put, a, let us say, So you want to build a brick a wall or block, concrete block. In order not to make your wall funny and even collapse, you have to keep it straight down the point, which means to the ground, and uh, straight uh, forward. So what the builder will do, he will put a line attached to a nail and he will run the line across the area until where he is going to stop building he put another nail here and that will be his guideline because if he miss one uh, half centimeter in every block he will end by the end of the wall Maybe missing, depending on how long the wall is, he will be uh, uh, missing the like missing the direction by meters or even kilometers, depending on how long. So imagine about a person who is praying from direction overseas. You know, actually, uh, they found that people of Indonesia, like this guy from Indonesia, he called me. People of Indonesia, they were praying for one thousand year to Somalia, not to the Kaaba. Can you believe it? A thousand year and Allah did not send a warner. This is 2010. You can search the news. Indonesian Muslim turn a prayer back to Mecca after 1,000 years. One thousand year they are praying to Africa. Thinking that this is the direction of the Kaaba. This is the this is the biggest joke of the century. Thousand year. But now, thanks to the GBS and thanks to the Western who made those machines, finding the Muslim, they were able to figure it out. Allah could not make them figure it out. A thousand year, not 10 years, not 20 years, which means since the time they started became Muslims, thousand year pass. 2010. They found themselves praying. All the prayer is gone to the wrong direction. Can you believe it?
The word for then can mean simultaneously. No, my friend, it's not up to you. And secondly, it's not even then. Thumma, here we go. You can go right now and search in YouTube. There is a Muslim guy, he teaches you Arabic. And the purpose of this Arabic is to convert people to Islam. He explained to you what the meaning of Thumma. Not only Thumma, not then only, it's a while after. So don't tell me in the same time. Let me find you his channel and even the video. Here we go. This is the video. You can go watch it. The, the first meaning of Thumma. Go watch it. This is your Muslim friend. Lean, learn Quranic Arabic. Learn Quranic Arabic. Don't play those games with me. We got you busted all the way. It doesn't work. The meaning of particle thumma, and this is exactly the word used in the Quran. And remember, this guy is teaching you the Quran Arabic. So he's reading it from the Quran. Go watch it and laugh at your God. It's not only thumma, mean after, but after long, after a while. Read carefully. Thumma, guys, read carefully. This is not my words. Is a conjunction that usually indicate order and a extensive period of time. Do you see it? Now the Muslim, they will go and tell the guy, please delete your video, brother. Your video get Allah busted. Ah, uh, now we found that it says usually. Uh, no, my friend, uh, usually, because this is what it is usually. There's no other way. And actually, he show you the three ways this the word can be used. All of them, they are saying the same. Watch, go watch the, the whole video. Try to find a solution. Go. When, when it says fa, it's mean short period. When you say thumma, it's mean long period. No, thumma does not mean five minute, 10 minute, one hour, etc. No, mean long, long time. Now we can open dictionary. We can open the interpretation. <laughs> I mean, whatever you want, we can go. Can we? Who want to call me and we will open the interpretation? Uh, I mean, even your, your stupid translation, sorry. Uh, even even uh, your stupid translation is giving you out. You know, you got busted. And we can open any interpretation you want. Try something better. Or we can open the dictionary, whatever you want. Chapter 41, verse number 11. Very easy. Read it. <laughs> you know, the funny is that all Muslim scholars suddenly, they do not speak good Arabic. Those are the real scholars. This is why their names are in the official government website. Not those guys from YouTube, Mumu and Dudu and Susu. 
This is Tafsir al Jalalain. Then he turned to heaven and it was a smoke. It doesn't say that, CP. Tafsir al Jalalain. What about the cousin of Muhammad ibn Abbas? What about Ibn Kathir? What about Al Qurtubi, Al Tabari? I mean, whatever you want, we go. Same. Then he turned to heaven. Then he turned to the creation of the heaven. Read it. So all the Muhammadan sheikhs in the world, they do not know what the word Thumma mean. But those who they are in the chat, they can tell you what Thumma mean. Anyway, thank God you are not calling me, especially if you are the same guy who called me and he speak like a man. And you're not answering my question. Got you busted, got you busted, busted. You know, there's something funny in the Quran. The Quran speak about how to punish homosexual. And the punishment for homosexual in the Quran is one of the most funny ever punishment. If there is somebody a homosexual according to Islam, you spank him. How you spank them? Beat them by sandals. When two of your men do the Amr, the action of loot, uh, uh, homosexuality intercourse, punish them both with insult and beat them with sandals. Man, oh man. Well, again, he would like it. He would get excited. Beat him with sandals. If you remember the story, you can read it in, uh, in a Shia Pand website. Uh, there's a guy, uh, he's a homosexual. Uh, he heard one of the uh, companion of the Prophet saying uh, after the death of Omar, Omar uh, sorry, uh, Uthman was killed. So one of the Muslim Mujahideen, he was screaming, saying, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, if I know who is the one who killed Uthman, I will F him. Excuse my language. I swear by Allah, I will F him. The guy who is a gay, he heard that. He said, you swear? He said, I swear by Allah, I will F him. Then the gay, he said, I am the one who killed Uthman. So the Muslim, other Muslim, the Mujahid, he made him both uh, bend over and he started doing boom boom to him. And then the gay from underneath the other Muslim, he starts saying, if I know that this is the punishment of killing Uthman, I would love to kill Uthman every day. He would love to kill Uthman every day. Every day. If he knew. This is the punishment of King Uthman? Really? Are you serious? If I know that this is the punishment of King Uthman. <laughs> There's a, a website made by the Shia. They have a collection of hadith from each other. You know, they are exposing each other. Let me see if I can find it to you in English.
<laughs> I'm coughing today. I apologize. I hope my coughing is not coming in your head. Uh, let us see. <clears throat> I found the website, but I'm trying to find where exactly it is. Let me see. It's called Shia Pan. I can find the one in Arabic, but in English would be better for you. Man, this page. Well, maybe you can find it by yourself then. Uh, oh, not this page. Hold on. <clears throat> this is the same website. Yeah, but the same page. Let us see. We have to look for the page. It's called Sunni Morality. See how much we work to try to find your things. Yeah, this is the page. It should, it should be there as I remember. Maybe you guys, you can look for it. Just save me time from looking. I just find you the page. Go there. This page full of stories translated by the Muslim Shia. And you will have the reference uh, in the page. Uh, So try to find it. Uh, let's see. I hope it's in that page. But this is a very good page, actually, the one I gave you. Uh, it have full of reference, you know, Shia exposing Sunni and supposedly refuting them. Ah, here we go. Yeah, here we go. I just found it. If you go in the same page, uh, this is the one. And if this is the one, 20 example of Sunni morality, Yazid ibn Muawiyah was in, in homosexual. Maybe here, let's see, okay. Uh, yeah, here they, they are just talking about the caliphate, they were homosexual too. Uh, other than kafir called Muslim Yazid. Yeah, you need, you know, we need to read. It's full of funny stories anyway. Do we have any Mohammedan? Uh, avoid insulting mother of people, otherwise I will block you. Anyone, you start, you know? You want to refute the person, refute him. You want to be stupid, we will block you. Any Muhammadan?
Nobody? Yeah, in those pages you will find tons of collection of stupid things, you know, I mean, uh, ugly stuff. But remember, those are Shia, but they are not lying. They are just quoting to you, translating what is in the Muslim Sunni books. Uh, Big uh, Sharma saying, why in Islam they, uh, they like to say, I believe in one God? Well, you know, I asked him about this guy who called me. Is one mean a number? He said, yes. Well, if one is a number, that's mean there's two, and there's zero, you know, if number, because one would not exist. If, if you know, when we say number, uh, one is not unique. It's not. The second you start treating God as a number, and the second you say one, that's mean there's two. Because he's one what? If you say he is one God as a as a number, well, that's mean we are counting, and this is number one. That's mean there's number two. There's possible number three. Same time, if God is one or ten or seven or a billion, if God he if if there is many God, there is many gods. Who care? The question is. Is your God is exist? If there is somebody he believes there is million God and they are exist, then he's right, and we are wrong. <laughs> so their logic is very funny. Allah created fingerprint. Well, read my books, my friend. You will find all those are answered and get busted. The Quran never mentioned the fingerprint. The Quran says Allah will put the fingertips together. Which is the bones. They lie. They lie about everything. Never believe a Muslim explain his book. As you see, a Muslim who called me today, I asked him a very simple question. He refused even to answer. Why? Because he knew he would be in trouble. Uh, The Quran never mentioned those things. The Muslims they claim. And here we got them busted. <clears throat> Any Mohammedan? If I search now in Google about the Muslim claim Quran fingerprint, <clears throat> you will see how silly and how stupid and how easy it is to to get them busted. 75 4 Quran verse number 75 and look the Muslim they have uh, they have uh, pictures and graphic etc but even their own stupid graphic says fingertips I mean how stupid you are this is about a person who died not fingerprint Allah will collect his fingertips together the bones those are the small bones. So Muhammad is saying, even those small bones, Allah will be able to connect them together. You see those last bones in your fingers? You know? Allah will connect them together. The Muslim, they make it fingerprint. But anyway, it's not their fault, by the way. The fault of people. Why you don't go and read it? Do you see it? 
This is about the judgment day. We will be able to put together in perfect order the tips of his fingers. So how that became fingerprint to you? Why, how, how you even let the Muslims for you? Don't we have a brain? Can't we read? How the fingertips became the fingerprint? <clears throat> uh, any Muhammadan? And you can open the interpretation. There we go. This is chapter 75, verse number 4. Uh, 75. Don't make me, you know, don't be, don't be silly kid. Whatever Muslim they say, you, you know that there is something fishy. Indeed, we shall assemble them. Assemble what? The bones. What the fingerprint? Read it. We are able, in addition to assemble them, reshape even his fingers to say to restore their bones just as they did been despite their smallest. So how much more so we are able to restore the longer ones? Where is the... There's not even about the skin. This is about bones. But, you know, the Muslim, they knew that uh, the majority of people are stupid and silly. We are in the time where people, they spend time watching football, but nobody have time to read. How many of you today was watching the football? I know you will be upset if I say how many idiot of you, you know, waste his time today. Let us be honest. How many idiot of you waste, waste his time watching the devil game? You know, those who play, they make millions. What do you make? What do you make exactly? What is the, what this is for you? Honestly, I don't understand. And you know, today you are happy, tomorrow you are sad. Here we go, you got busted. Tomorrow, today, takbir, you know. Tomorrow they are lost. Hey, we lost. You see the faces, see them. I mean, stupid people, human. I mean, this is the, the clear, clear proof that a human being is a donkey. human being is a stupid you waste your time you get nothing from it go walk go play sport yourself those are making millions this is what they are playing do you know how much each one of them will make even when they lose because of the stupid ones of us who pay money to watch it This is my belief. The only one who watched those games is somebody, he want to kill his time and he want to kill himself. He have nothing to do in life. He got excited for nothing. He gets sad for nothing. What do you get from it? Nothing. Nothing. And then they say to you, the team of this country and the team of, but then most of them, they don't even have a team of their country. Did you see, I, like in the other day, I was talking about the French team. It turned to be, I thought they are African team. It turned to be, this is a French team. There is eight out of, I don't know, uh, how many they play the game? 12, 13, I don't know. Uh, most of them, they are African. So what is the French team? Team, one from Senegal, one from Morocco, one from Egypt, one from Brazil, one from Uruguay, one, what the heck? The Hindu had the truth? Yeah, my friend, I believe the Hindus had the truth. I agree with you. This is why they built the temple for the rats. I think the first god was a rat. Yeah. I mean, you have the truth to the point even you think that rats are god. And you build the temple for them? And you predicted the age of the earth. Did you predict the age of the rats?
Well, even you bring that to yourself. The Hindus is the truth, yeah. 35 million, 35 million gods. I mean, when Sadhguru, he said, we, have, we believe in 35 million gods. Well, the rats alone in this world is maybe trillions. Are you stupid or what? Or maybe only those rats in that temple, they are gods. What about their kids, their cousins? Crazy people. I mean, human being is really weird. Rats. I mean, in, 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 in India, there's people, they are, they are children, they are homeless. And you give milks to the rats. What about you give it to those hungry ones? Why you bring that to yourself? Here we go. Just sit down as a Hindu. We're not talking about you. No, if you go to India, you will like rats because they are beautiful and they are holy God. If rats are gods, well, that means we have gods more than us. One rat can make a, you know, a thousand rat before he finishes his honeymoon. By the way, do the uh, do honeymoon? They do it in the sewage for free. In the sewage, it's warm, smell good, a lot of food, and uh, they are independent. They don't see CNN. Get disgusted. Anyway. <clears throat> Hinduism is not even a religion. It's a collection of philosophy and it's full of, uh, it's an empty, empty philosophy. You know, Muslim, they speak about how many God they have. But Hindus are really messed up when they speak about God too. You know, like this guy said, Guru, he, he, he made a video about how we should uh, accept each other, how we should, why we get angry if somebody disagree with us? Why our karma? Why, you know, like, beautiful speech, brother. I made a video about his video, about the same video, showing how stupid what he said. The guy who was making a speech about how to accept each other, he went after not even 15 minutes after I posted my video in YouTube, I received a copyright claim from Sadhguru. Long speech about accepting each other. Why you get angry if somebody criticizes you? Why you get upset if somebody don't like what you say? Why you think everybody would think like you think? Because inside and philosophy. The second I made a video against him, he flagged me. And I understand why. His name is Sad Guru. I mean, Sad. What do you accept? Very sad. <clears throat> There's a there's one of his uh, uh, kids. I mean, one one in the, he make a speech, and one of the one attendant he asked him about his finance and how he run his organization. You should see how he spoke to him. He start making he start bullying the guy. The video is there. He start bullying the guy. Why? Because he asked a question which is obviously in the embarrassment. But this is the guy who kept talking about not to bully each other. He start making fun of the guy, how stupid he is, and why he's asking the question. The guy was asking about how many employees you have and where this money is going and what, etc. Tell him what happened to the wise man because you hit him and where it hurt. He start bullying the guy, making fun, and everybody start laughing at the poor guy who asked question. So my friend, you don't think that you are better than, than the Mohammedan. You have your own problems. Big deal.
Not to forget the casting system where there is people that live like, you know, they are nobody. They are not even considered a human being. And there is higher beings and there are lower beings. And there is ranks and there is the divided society. And those people cannot marry from those people. And those people, they cannot touch those people. And those people, they cannot even enter the house of those people. This is against humanity, my friend. Anyway, do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone? Don't forget, if you are not a subscriber, to subscribe. And if you are a subscriber, don't forget to unsubscribe because this is how Allah He give you blessing. You cannot explain the accuracy of science in the book. So please behave yourself. Okay, Big Sharma, why you don't call me and tell me the accuracy of science in the Hindu religion? Do you like? Hmm? Like you used to be a mosquito, you used to be a human and you became a mosquito? Hello? Uh, this is the same kid he is calling again. Uh, Christian Prince. Uh, let me call him. <coughs> Hello? So did you find the answer for the question I gave you after two hours? Uh, the, the only thing I found was that the word might not mean... Uh, I do not hear then. you. What? What? The only thing I found was that the word might the word for then might mean uh, at the same time as well. What do you mean? I don't understand. What when Allah He say us? What He mean? What what? When Allah He say us, what He meant? Oh, oh you are know. okay. You are a different person. Sorry, I I I, uh, I I am confused about you and the Indonesian guy. Oh, so oh, okay. yeah. So what what you want to say? Uh, it the the thing the only thing I could find is that the word for then in uh, Arabic might also mean uh, at the same at the same time. But my friend, that's, that's your a, video. That is a big... I read, I watched the video. Okay, and hold did... on. Yeah, the, the video I showed you in the screen, the, the 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 guy, he said that it mean the same time. No. Okay, but it's meant. So 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 meant, I don't know. It meant long but... after. Secondly, hold on. Do you like me to open dictionary for you? Oh, okay, okay. Is that okay? Yes, okay. Okay, are you going to accept dictionary or your dictionary is stupid too? Well, why well, I, I I kind of see I don't know what to do because I, I I feel like it kind of maybe looks like a little bit. No, no, I'm just asking you. Like, do you accept, do you think dictionary is taking my side too, or dictionary is dictionary? Dictionaries, uh, it's it's a fact. It's a dictionary. Okay, yeah. Okay. This is the dictionary. Here it says, ثم حرف عطف يدل على الترتيب مع التراخي في الزمن. حرف عطف, like you know, adding something like in English you say and, you know, this is the same. Yes, yes, yes. But yes. it says مع التراخي في الزمن. Do you know Arabic? No. Yeah, the period with, between them are not straight. There is like a, a long, long distance between them. As an example, they say here, it's here, قوله, كقوله تعالى, they are even quoting the Quran, السجدة, ayah 7, ثم, let us go to السجدة, yeah, السجدة, وخلق الإنسان من طين. And then you will okay, say, so and then you will see, you see, this is the this is the dictionary. I'm just reading the dictionary now. This is not in uh, tafsir or this is a dictionary. So they are quoting for you chapter seven, verse number thirty-two. They are explaining to you how uh, long the distance between between when you say thumma. So he created the human being from a, a, a clay. Do you see it? Yes. All right. And then thumma. Then he made of his spring. Is the offspring is born two seconds after? No. There's a long distance. The woman she needs okay. the, okay. the, the women at least, the woman, at least she needs nine months to give a give a child, correct? Yes. Do you see Thumma now? So Thumma no. here, Thumma, 
at least based on the example in the dictionary, they are telling you it is for a long time after. Thumma, they have offspring. So Adam and Eve are created today. Let us say today is you know uh, Sunday. Uh, now it is twelve twenty nine a.m. So today Allah created Adam. Thumma, thumma, he gave him of his spring. Okay, how long it take the women to be uh, carrying a child, to have a child? It's going to take at least nine months. Do we agree? Yes. But this is exactly what it says in Arabic. Thumma. Oh. And this is why uh, the the Quran, the, the dictionary, choosing this uh, example. Okay, so I don't know what to do. Well, because... this is obviously a contradiction. But 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 and but you see this is but, this is the this is the 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 but uh, but but there's contradictions in the Bible too. We can go there if there's a contradiction or not. But let's finish with the with your religion, right? Okay. Okay, and I will give you I will give you the link. Uh, so you can open it yourself and you can take your time. You know, just as your Islamic website, you yes, see your please. Islamic link. I will post it in the chat. Uh, you can just copy it. Uh, I made I made a short link because the link is lo so long. Okay. And you can go down where it says, as I showed you in the screen, uh, uh, here, like you you passed the the the, because there is many other words they are the same. Th they are different word like thumma and thumma. So there are different word here thumma. This is the one we are talking about, All right? So it says yeah. here, thumma adat is, harfu is, adat. Is, is, is Thumma used in the Quran and any other verses? Yeah, this is the same Thumma. The other one are oh, not the same. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh. This, this is why they are quoting they are quoting for you. You see the dictionary is quoting chapter 32, verse number seven and eight, to explain to us that Thumma is used for order, but with the exception of there's a period between them, long period. This is why it says. حرف عطف يدل على الترتيب مع التراخي في الزمن which mean there is a it's a loose period loose long like let me use google translation to translate all of them translate with google Just okay i get it i get it i get it yeah so this is the dictionary here we go so it it consists letter indicating order with laxity in time. I don't know the translation. I don't know what laxity mean, but this is what I understand in Arabic. Laxity in time. What laxity mean? Laxity? Yeah. It should be it should be meant like uh, long like uh, the time is loose, long time between I've never them. heard laxity. Long period between them. And they are saying to you, this is what it's meant as an example. The Almighty says, and as you see, those are Muslims, this is why they're saying the Almighty said, as sajda. Chapter, uh, uh, chapter 32, verse number 7 and 9. When he began the creation of the man from a clay, he made of, uh, of his uh, offspring. And this is how Thumma is used. Okay, and, okay. So, hmm. but I believe in God, but I don't, but there's contradictions in both books. So how could I? My friend, even... there is no contradiction in our book. Uh, the Muslim, they, they say things we love. Uh, like they say but, to you. Uh, but uh, it says uh, in uh, Deuteronomy, it says, uh, Cursed be that lies with his sister, mm. but um, or, the, or the daughter of his father. But didn't Abraham uh, marry his father's daughter? But this is not his sister, no. But who, I thought who, it was. Who, who, and, no, uh, my friend, my friend. Uh, you're a prophet. Let me answer, answer you. You're a prophet, he said, that Abraham, he, he lied. He lied. When he went uh, 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 to the king, the king, he asked him, who is this woman? Abraham, he lied. And he said, this is my sister. He lied? He lied, yeah. Where does it don't say you, that? Don't you lie? But Abraham didn't lie. Yeah, Abraham did lie. And your prophet says that too. Uh, Where did he say that? Yeah, okay, give me a second. Wait, but I'm not. I'm not talking about the Quran. I'm yeah, talking about the, Bible. I'm giving you the answer. No problem. Uh, here we go. Abraham he lied only three, 
lies. Uh, let us see what is the hadith. Hmm. Here we go. Let me wait for you on the screen. Oh, give me a second. You see my screen? Yes. All right. Here we go. This is your prophet, and this is Al Bukhari. You know Al Bukhari is very strong, correct? Yes. So he... All right. Can you read for me, please? Uh, it's still loading. <clears throat> I'm talking about your Bible, not not. Our friend, the I'm Quran. answering. I'm answering you. Yeah. Do you, does it say in the front of you that Abraham he lied in three cases? Yes. Okay. Did he lie about his sister that she is not his wife? Twice for the sake of Allah. And uh, yes, yes. The you, third, the, well, yes. How far you did read? Uh, the third was well. Abraham and Sarah, his wife, were going on journey. journey. They passed by the territory of the tyrant. Someone to the tyrant. This man, Abraham, is accompanied by a very charming lady. And then I can't read anymore. Yeah. Okay, what here it says, when they ask him, he said, this is my sister. Abraham said, she is my sister. Okay. Okay. So now if I say... Uh, somebody asked me, I'm working with my wife. He said, this is your wife? I say, no, this is my sister. Okay, but why would I Why would I go to to Sahih Bukhari if I'm trying to talk no, about the Bible? No, but I always, I try, you see, if I showed the... Uh, if I show you from my book and I explain to you alone, you will say, well, this is weird, Abraham, he lied. So I just gave you the answer, he lied. Okay. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I just make, I just told you, but now I'm supporting my statement. But does Abraham lie in the Bible? Yeah, he, he, you know, every, the Bible says every human being is a sinner, my friend. Abraham is no different. The Bible never prays any man. There is only one person in the Bible he did not commit sin. That is Jesus. So All men, Abraham, the Bible, did not, did Abraham, Abraham did doesn't not, matter. Abraham is a sinner. David is a sinner. Moses is a sinner. I am a sinner. You yes, are yes, a sinner. But you miss, the, con the contradiction is that in Deuteronomy it says that... Uh, My friend, which whoever, one, which law came before to say contradiction? Moses or Abraham? Uh, oh, I, I don't remember. I'm not what do you mean very... remember? Who is the father of the Jews? <laughs> So now Abraham he came after Moses. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. So okay, let, okay. Let us say, uh, according to you Muslims, Noah, the, the children of Adam, they married their own uh, sisters. Yes. Okay, but there is no law at that time says you cannot marry your sister. Oh. Right. So you're saying Abraham, the law came on. after Abraham. He was what? He was a pagan anyway. Yes. Correct. Okay. So the pagan Abraham, God knows how many sin he did when he was a pagan. Even your Quran says that Abraham, when he saw the sun, he said, this is my God, he worshipped the sun. When he saw the moon, he said, this is my God, he worshipped the moon. When he saw the stars, he said, this is my Lord. And the only one he called it Akbar is the sun. Hada Rabbi. Hada Akbar. Isn't it the Quran says that Allah forgive all sin except the one who do commit shirk? Yeah, shirk. Yeah. So according to the Quran, Abraham should not go to heaven because he committed but, shirk. But what? But um, in um, James it says that um, God uh, doesn't tempt anyone. But in Genesis it said that God tempted Abraham. 
you see always when you read something you you know you like you open a website and you say oh here it says this here it says that but if you start yes. reading the whole chapter you will see this is not what it's meant you know when i say uh, like uh, I, I now let's say i would say i've been tempted by god to help you <laughs> is that is that a bad sense. thing so i am being tempted by God but to help you. Isn't tempting bad? No, no, hold on. No, depend in what what tempt to do what. You know, temptation. The word temptation, uh, like, uh, let us say, uh, always everything a human being he do is based in the intention, correct? Yes. If the intention is bad, then it is bad. If the intention is good, then it's good. Okay, okay, but so, I don't. I my, don't my care friend, if it says friend. good or when, bad. When, when, good when or God, bad when God. He tempt you as a believer to believe in him to do jihad. He tempt you by having women. The Muslim they say this is not a bad temptation. This is a good temptation. Can you, can you pull up um, James one thirteen? No, no. Focus with me. I want you first. When you fin when we finish with Islam, you say I am not a Muslim no more. We can go all over the Bible if you wish. Because I want to know. Now, I don't know what to believe. Am I talking? I'm talking to Muslim still, or you are out? If you if you say I'm out of Islam, I will go and answer all your questions. I can't say. I don't know what. Then is we have true to finish. We want to, you know, just want. I'm, I'm trying to help you. I don't want to waste my time. So now I show you. You are the one who called me, and you say yes. there's no contradiction in the Quran. Correct. I I thought I I don't know what to believe. Okay, listen. First of all, if there is a contradiction in a book or not, what does have to do with being from God or not? I have four books. Translated in many languages have zero contradiction. Does that mean I'm God? But it says in the Quran that there. My, my friend, my friend I'm just speaking so to you. He's like yeah. calling this is it a, out. The Quran is stupid. The Quran is stupid because the Quran could not even stand its own challenge. And we just showed you one of them. There's tons of them. So, but. Tons of them. What? The, no, that's. No. No, what? You said tons of them. I've only, I've never there is even tons, heard that there is, there is endless. You know. Okay. I will do. I will do. Uh, uh, I will. I will. I will play like a nice game with you. Choose for me a chapter. Don't uh, anything. Say to, say to me. Open this chapter and show me something bad. Something wrong. <laughs> anything. Anything. You see. You have one hundred fourteen chapters. You see. I don't want to pick up a chapter to show you. Just okay, choose one. Open uh, uh, chapter one uh, ten. What do you mean chapter one? There's no ten. Chapter one have seven verses only. One hundred ten. Oh, one hundred ten. Okay. I thought you are saying chapter one ten. No, no, no. All no. right. Okay. Look at this. When the people they believe in Islam, when the victory came, is that correct? Hold on, I'm behind. Huh? There's a lag on the YouTube. I got to wait till it comes up. Just listen to me until it's come. Okay. When 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 people they enter Islam. When they enter Islam. Yeah. When the victory came. Uh, this is the chapter you chose for me. It's called oh, the yes, yes, yes. The yes. chapter of the victory. Okay. Yes. So people they enter into Islam only in the consequence of Mecca when Muhammad became victorious. So people did not believe. In Islam until he become victorious by the sword but look what happened I will go just a few one chapter after just to show you the contradiction and remember mm -hmm. you are the one who said there's no contradiction and you chose for me a chapter this is the chapter of Al-Kafirun 1 9 you asked me to read 1 10 correct yes all right 1 10 chapter oh, 1 9, 9 it says oh who you believe Oh, sorry, oh, who you kuffar, the kuffar. I okay. worship not that which you worship, nor you will worship that which I worship, and I shall not worship that you are worshiping, nor you will worship that which I worship. So the verse clear. I will not worship what you worship, and you will never worship what I worship. Is that correct? Yes. All right. But this is the opposite of a chapter, the one you choose for me. 
chapter 110 when the victory of Allah came the same exact people all of them became what they worship in the same what he worship <laughs> how does Allah worship they became Muslims it's in the front of you all the people of Mecca they become Muslims when the victory of Allah came they enter into Islam like waves but the verse before the chapter before it 109 says you will not worship what I worship nor I will worship. You see, this is about the future. I worship not what you worship, nor will you worship that which I worship. Who's, who does he say that to? The directly, same people, though? the people of Quraysh. Same people? Yes, this is his people. All has a problem with his people. I will not worship what you worship, and you will not worship what I worship. And then the chapter of, uh, after it, in the same book, it says, all of them, they become Muslims. How do we know that's the same people? Open the, open the interpretation and read. And those people, they worship, you know, in oh. Saudi Arabia, my friend, in Saudi Arabia, when Muhammad yes. became victorious, no, not a single person, not a Muslim, no more. <laughs> So even if he tried to play the game, says, oh, this is not the same people. No, he says to the kuffar, ayyuh al-kafirun. But, but listen, listen, my uh, friend, my friend. He said, ayyuh al-kafirun. He did not even say, oh, Uthman, oh, Ali, oh, but Shakira. It, um, he says, oh, not... kuffar, mushrikeen. So all the mushrikeen, I will not worship what you worship, and you will not worship what I worship. And this is for the future. Wasn't, then, isn't the isn't the Quran uh, not uh, in uh, chronological order though? Doesn't isn't matter it... exactly. So what? Still, you can open now the, the open the interpretation, you know, and you will see it's still saying the same. I don't care, you know. And by the way, thank you very much for saying that that the Quran is not in order. That's mean the Quran never was in order because if Allah He sent the book, who is the Muslims to say? I will change you. I will replace you. I will change the location of the of the sentence. This is Tafsir Ajalain. Nor will I worship in the future what you have worship. Verse number five. And you will not worship in the future what I worship. Very simple. If you go to the book of Asbab al Nuzul. Are you out of Islam or not yet? I, uh, Read carefully. I have, this is the book of Asbab and Nuzul says. Uh, this verse was revealed about a group of people of, of from Quraysh who say to the Prophet, Allah bless him and give him peace. But then all people of Quraysh became Muslims. <laughs> what if it says that after? My friend does... Uh, yeah, okay, what, what, hold, hold on. He said that in the beginning of Islam, the victory, uh, the victory verse happened long after. Correct. In the beginning oh, of Islam, see. Muhammad he even ran from Quraysh, right? He ran from his from Mecca, correct? Yes. Okay. So now as he's speaking to those people in Quraysh. He said to him, "You will not worship what I worship, and I will not worship what you worship." And then after that, in chapter one ten, which long after, all of them they become Muslims. But Muhammad, he predicted and he made a false prophecy that Allah told him that nor they will worship in the future. You see, I just opened for you Tafsir al Jalalain, <laughs> and it says in the future. You can read, can't you? Yes. Okay. Does it say future? It does. Okay. It says a future for him and future for them. You will not worship in the future what I worship. And, I, and they would never become believers. And remember, is you are the one who chose this maybe chapter. He knows, my maybe friend. he's just talking about those in the area that so wouldn't you know, become uh, believers. My friend, uh, what's your name? Abadi. Abad? Abid? Abid. Abid. Okay, are we going to live with maybe? I mean, I'm showing you the interpretation and you say to me, maybe. I'm showing you the book of Asbab al which means the reason for the verse to come down. And you say to me, maybe. 
So if you want to go by maybe, well, my friend. Well, I'm just saying there might be an explanation for know, it. What, you know, you know, next, uh, you, remember, you are the one who chose for me the chapter challenging me to find you. I said to you, there's 114 chapter. Mm -hmm. d d is it me who told you to choose this chapter for me? Yes. I did. I asked you to choose it, a specific one, or you told me which one? I, I, you asked me. I ask you, but you are the one who chose it, right? Yeah, I'm not the yes. one who chose 110. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, isn't it clear for you that I will not worship your religion? I will not worship your God, and you will not worship my God. And this is about the future. You will not. This is not about you don't. You will not. I don't worship it now. He could just be talking to the people me. that didn't huh? that didn't worship though. What? No, they there become probably... Muslims, all of them, you know. That, no, uh, not all of them. Uh, my friend, don't waste my time. Sorry, I have to hang up on you. I, I don't have time for, for silly talk. Either you want to be serious or not. When Muhammad he entered Mecca, everybody become a Muslim. Zero Muslims, non-Muslims in Saudi in Arabian Peninsula. What do you mean, everyone? Can you give me the contact of the guy you are talking to? I can answer your shirk question. I don't know this guy. He wanna answer me. He's a Muslim. Let's see. <clears throat> Let us see another guy. If you do not answer, I will block you. Just let you know. Okay, let me block you. Yeah, you know, I supposedly like he chose now something which, uh, you know, okay. Uh, find me, uh, you know, contradiction. And, you know, he thought if he chose a very short verse or chapter, actually, this is funny. I mean, even this is a chapter. Look at this. How in the world is a chapter? You know, the Muslim, they say to us, do you memorize the Bible? We memorize the Quran. All your Quran is not even in the size of the index of our book. In fact, the index of our book is maybe three or four times bigger than your book. Can you memorize the Quran? This is Quran? What the heck is this? How in the world this became a chapter? And look actually, the chapter which is called Al-Kafirun, one of the most funny, stupid chapters ever. I call it the chapter of the Hummus. In order to see how funny this one, just to change one word, Take the word I worship and put the word eat. Oh, who you reject food. I eat not which you eat, nor you eat which I eat. And I will not eat which you have been eating, nor you will eat which I was eating. How stupid is that? You have your food, I have mine. This is God? Oh, kuffar, I eat not what you eat, and nor you eat what I eat, and I will never do eat what you eat because I eat not, not eat what you eat, and you will never do eat what I eat because I don't eat what you eat, and you will never eat what I eat, and you have your food and I have mine, hello? That's deep. This is God? What the heck is that?
What is the wisdom? What is the logic? Where is the, this is stupid? Who oh, you know? Oh, you reject face. I don't want to support you WhatsApp, and you don't want to support our WhatsApp. And by the way, I will not WhatsApp what you WhatsApp, and you will never WhatsApp what I WhatsApp because I WhatsApp not what you WhatsApp, and you will not WhatsApp what I WhatsApp because I WhatsApp what I WhatsApp, and you don't WhatsApp what I WhatsApp. So you know what? Get uh, get out of the hell of out of here, and you have your way, and I have mine. Thank you very much. And not only that, later he killed them. How come you have your way? And I have mine, and later you go to, to kill them. As long as they can be whatever flee, because this indicates that you have your way, I have mine. Peace. But he killed them. The chapter after it says, even the consequence of, of Mecca. <laughs> this is God talking. I mean, uh, uh, you know, uh, Joe Biden will make better. Like, just switch. Let us use the, the, the dictionary of Joe Biden. Oh, you reject the thing. I know the thing, you know not know the thing, and nor you know the thing, but I know the thing. And you know the thing, I know not know the thing, because you don't know the thing, and I will not do the thing which you want me to do, the thing, for I do not know the thing, and you will not do my thing. You have your thing, I have my thing. Signature, Joe Biden, you know the thing. <clears throat> this is God. And now after we showed him, he starts saying, maybe, maybe they meant this, maybe, I mean, there is no need to waste my time, you want to, you know, I'm just being honest with you, and I'm showing you the reference in the front of you, and then you say to me, there is a contradiction in the Bible, we laugh at your contradiction, those contradictions appear only for ignorant, they don't appear for us, obviously you are ignorant in your book, you are ignorant in your religion, you are ignorant about who is everything, you know, have you ever heard of a God says, maybe his God will forgive him? Who's talking? Allah. Allah, he say, perhaps, perhaps his God, have you ever heard of God, Mr. Perhaps? Look how many times this guy, he keep using it. Asa, 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 Asa. The whole Quran is Asa. The whole Quran is perhaps. What a crazy religion. And look at the Muslim translation. There is hope that Allah will forgive. This is what the verse is saying. You change the translator. Let's see which one. This is Yusuf Ali. Let us go to the front translator. There's hope, huh? Yeah, there's a hope. One day we'll find a, a, a one Muslim decent, he can translate the Quran without adding falafel. There's hope. Uh -huh. Look, Asa, there's hope. This is what Asa mean in Arabic? Let us see another idiot. Arbery. There's hope, huh? Happy, happily, then God will be burdened. Look, what the heck? Itani Allah. This Allah may will burden them. But who's talking? Allah saying, this Allah may burden them? Maybe? So when you say to me, maybe it means this, maybe it means I laugh because your God, Allah himself, he used the word maybe. He's not sure. Is he going to forgive them or not? Why maybe? Maybe. 
even, even Muhammad, Allah, he said to him, may Allah, maybe, maybe Allah will forgive to you your sin. Maybe. What the heck? Chapter 48, verse number 2. That may Allah forgive your sin. Who is talking Allah? Have you ever heard of such a God? Is he speaking to the mirror? Is he seeing, her hearing voices? Is he thinking like he is not he? And Allah is not Allah. So Allah, he think he is many Allah. So Allah speaking to the other Allah, asking the first Allah to forgive the sin of Muhammad. that Allah may forgive your sin in the past and in the future open license for sin but as you see it's not a granted maybe it's a wish Allah is making wish to and the funny the Muslim they say we believe in one God if you believe in one God Allah is talking to who making a wish to who this is a supplication this is a prayer may Allah forgive your sin this is a supplication Allah praying to who? My friend, the guy from, uh, the Hindu guy, take a hike, just let me block you. Instead of telling me what to do, my friend, just go make a, a clean street in India for your kids so they can live good. So uh, telling people how to live and how to study. Go. Help your country. Stop following the rich people worshipping them. Do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone? You know, how come Jesus, he said... Go and your sin is forgiven. Hey, Christian, did Jesus pray for forgiveness of people who said, Go and your sin is forgiven? When Jesus did read the mind of the Jews and he said, Which one is easier? To say to him, Carry your bed and walk, or to say, Go and your sin is forgiven? Which one is easier? The Jews, they were asking themselves, who is this person forgiving sin? But they did not ask himself, how in the world he is asking the guy to carry his bed and walk? I mean, do you see how stupid they are? The guy cannot walk. And the problem now, he said, your sin is forgiven. In the case of Allah, not only Allah cannot forgive sin, Allah is praying to Jesus, asking Jesus to forgive the sin of Muhammad. And I challenge any Muslim, big or small, fat or short or skinny, to call me and tell me, Allah talking to who? And the funny, they keep saying to us, we worship one God, black stone kissers. And even the black stone, if we check it out, we will find that the black stone is not exist. The Muslims are kissing wax. The wax worshiper. They bring a guy from Pakistan to do maintenance every few days to the wax. And Allah, he said, this black stone sent by him. This is additional proof that Islam is a lie. Because how Allah, he sent this stone, To be a signature, the right hand of Allah. And then Allah could not preserve his right hand in earth. And now the funny, the Muslim, the poor Muslims, they go and kiss a stone, but there's no stone in the stone. Take a look. All the brown thing you say, you see, this is wax. You see the black dots? This is the black stone. There's nothing left. <laughs> Do 
So how this stone is going to witness in the day of judgment as Muhammad, he said, is going to have a mouth and tongue and ears, but there's nothing left of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven little rocks in the size of a booger in the mouth of Abdul, in his nose. Where is the black stone? This is one rock, second one, third one, fourth one, five, one, five, six, maybe six. Hello? Hello? I don't hear you. <laughs> Even their stone is fake. Hello? I don't hear you, Jihad. Yeah, fix your microphone. Go to the audio and check it out. <laughs> this is the this is the stone of Allah. He sent it from heaven. What happened to the shape, the shape of the vagina? Nothing. The vagina is gone. The only thing left is the frame of the vagina. So from far distance, when you see the black stone, you think it's a black stone. There's no stone. They do maintenance to it. This is the guy doing maintenance. Melting the wax. They have to keep adding wax. And they have and they and, and they put guards around the black stone so people will not steal those little tiny rocks. However, Erdogan he stole one and he have one in Turkey, little tiny one is in the pocket of Erdogan. The vagina of Allah. Anyway, I think we have enough for today. What do you think, guys? Don't we have enough? It's getting late for me. Uh, don't forget, if you don't mind, Make a comment, don't be cheap. I mean, we stay here, I spend hours with you, I break my back, I shout, I scream, people curse me, people call me names, people threaten me, and then you, your majesty, you, all of you, you don't even have time, you know, even to make a comment, to give a like, to share a link. I don't know what to say, you know? Maybe you have time to watch the football game. It's more important. Yeah, yeah, it's more important. So today you will be happy, tomorrow you will be sad and you will be crying. Because, you know, human being is so smart. His heart is in a bowl. And even that bowl is not his. Yeah. You don't have time. I do. I have a lot of time. Thank you. I want to say thank you all for nothing. Except those who support us and help us by making comments, sharing the links, or even making donation. So I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. And those who they are fake in numbers, they don't count. The Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. The one who have no fruits, the tree who don't have a fruit, will be cut off and throw in hell fire. It will happen. From their fruit, you shall know them. Take care. Christ is Lord. Islam is potato and a bad one, and we prove it every day.